Hey. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to disable that, uh, hype thing to an extremely high number so I never have to see it again. Thanks for reminding me, though. I appreciate you throwing your $5 towards that so that I can move it away. Yeah, they don't let you disable it, uh, which I actually found out yesterday when I was looking into it. Uh, thanks, Dr. Squigglesworth, though. I do appreciate the $5. Next time, just do it in bits, though. I actually, I think I make more money if you do that. Uh, I'm going to make it the highest possible amount that Twitch will allow it to be simply to discourage people from using it. Uh, yeah, it's not great. Uh, we're going to change hype chat to $100 minimum USD because I do not like this mechanic <laughs> because I do not like it and I would prefer it disabled. Yet I cannot. So, there we have it. Thanks if you gave me money through that, but I'd appreciate you just use bits or, uh, you know, just keep your money. I'm doing okay. I appreciate it though, but I am doing okay. Oh! Ah! You don't need to give me money for me to read your message. If you say something that's cringe enough towards me, I'll read it for free. Think about the value. You don't even have to pay a cent for that. And then mods will pin it anyways to fuck with me. It's a, for, it's a perfect system. You never have to pay a dollar. Sorry, I should have had it pumped up to that level long before now, just because, uh, you yeah, know, uh, I did look at it last night and I just forgot to tick the button that said, make it as expensive as possible. I can't believe they don't let you disable it. What a fucking wildly stupid thing to incorporate just a couple of days after pushing through a relatively underwhelming, it's actually wildly underwhelming, contract adjustment what a what a dumb thing to then announce is also subject to a significant split to twitch that's the main thing dude literally at any moment i could just turn on another donation link and just fucking have the pop-up on screen for a minute and i would make more money why the hell would i ever use fucking hype chat ever in a million years. Why would I do that? I don't even know how to read the notifications of anyone that gave money during that. XRFS, thanks for the 12 euros. I don't know how to convert that. <laughs> do not know what that converts to, but I appreciate the euros. That's like $12 million. Why are you not money maxing? I am a simple person. As much as I have said many times on record in front of everyone that I love money. I love money so goddamn much. I do not feel a need to nickel and dime every single cent out of all of you. I do not need it. It is very well documented for my subscription count that I have I have, I have, I have not the need. I have not the need. I'd r plus, honestly, like, as far as singular donations are concerned, I'd rather it just be bits, adding bits and then hype chat and then this and that. It's just deeply confusing. Weird flex, but okay. I'm establishing why I don't want extra donations on my channel. I don't think that's a flex and someone was asking. The button's default is $100. What? No, no, no. The default is $1. The problem is you can't disable it. So the only way for me to de-incentivize people from using it and something that I will not be addressing in the chat 
and do not want to address in the chat is um, to set it as high as possible because there is no other option. I don't like change, and unless bits were fully removed from Twitch, I will not be lowering this back down, I do not believe, unless the uh, exchange rate and split were lowered or improved, I guess. It's just too much extra crap. I'm sorry I opened this can of worms. You literally didn't do anything wrong. If you hadn't done it, someone else would have within seconds. Uh, I probably was going to address it during the intro anyway. Uh, but yeah, no. That's... There's no way to disable it. So, as silly as it looks, just have it locked down as, You have to give me $100! Uh, I'm, it's set there because I can't turn it off. And I don't want it to be something people feel compelled to use. Coffee, coffee though. This coffee good though. I've had a headache all fucking day, dude. I got, I got like a minor headache. Don't know what's going on. It's going away now, but uh, I'm, uh, I had to fight it off. Something fierce. I think it really just encourages people to try to advertise or be really cringe and say, no, it'll be pinned. Yeah, pinning on a Twitch chat where moderation is such an important issue on any Twitch chat is fucking wild that they get to do it on the house for free and just pop up. Uh, there's a reason I don't have on-screen notifications on my stream as well. There are reasons for these things that go beyond simply my convenience and my preference. There are actual reasons and to have something forced onto the chat not a huge fan just not a huge fan pinned message like hey guys get out of my stream but they pay for it so twitch thinks it's so yeah that'd be pretty Dude, it's just like the speed at which people will probably end up using this shit, like people with money just sitting around, or the ability to very quickly charge back their fucking payments, to just go around and fucking post like spoilers to games in chats and fucking like ultra super hype chat it beforehand is fucking wild. I do not know. Literally the only way I could actually like consciously allow this at all is if like Twitch would have it have the messages still be vetted by mods before they're allowed to be pinned literally like it would have to be something where a mod would have to be like yep that's good okay the text in there is fine like there would have to be a queue which would be more load on the mods which i wouldn't want either so it's like what the fuck you know coke gaming is frothing at the mouth right now chat you know coke gaming is like <laughs> going crazy because they just realized they no longer have to give subs and hope the streamer reads it they can just crack their fucking knuckles and send a fucking shotgun buckshot blast into the crowd just immediately fucking land on every single streamer get a nice fucking advertisement on them no no fucking doubt in my mind that shit's gonna become obnoxious I'm only one away! Just one away! I damn, I haven't heard of Coke Gaming in a minute. Did they give up? No. There's a difference between giving up and choosing to slumber. Okay. This... They're, they'll come out of hibernation eventually, and when they do, they will come for us again. And they have been given more tools to do it. Coke Gaming solved world peace. They did it. If they can do that, they can basically do whatever they want once they reawaken. They literally can do whatever they want. So, I'm wary of the future. I'm wary 
of the future of our people. That was Pepsi? Oh, then what the fuck is Coke doing? Okay, that's good. No, 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 no. Coke Coke was there. Coke was there. Coke one we're we're one away. We're one Coke away. That was that wasn't one Pepsi away. I'm not gonna get gaslit! Wait! I'm not getting gaslit! No! I'm not getting gaslit on this. Just did. No, I didn't. You didn't get me for very long. I fucking swung on back around, idiot. Pepsi solved racism. Ah, yes. <laughs> we, the beverage industry is making serious moves every day. Holy shit. My mega corporation, dude, brings a goddamn tear to my eye. Did you know gaslighting doesn't exist? Huh. 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 What? Huh? Yeah. You know, when you say it like that, you might be right. It's all in your head. <laughs> everything you think, everything you think is gaslighting is, well, it's in your head. Dude, I actually have started to consult the reality that I think I need to go to a chiropractor. I've had like a really bad back problem for like last like three, three days. And it's that kind of one where it feels like there's like an actual kink that you could crack. It's not like aching, t screaming pain. But, uh, I think I got, I think I have like an actual kink. Because I like felt the back of my spine. And... Do one of the, one of the parts of my spine ain't aligned perfectly anymore. It's a little bit off. In a minute now, my whole back gonna break like a fucking L. I'm just gonna, it's just gonna snap. I actually think it's been misaligned for like the last decade and a half. But, uh, it's always the spot that has problems if I get like aching pains. I think it's always been a little misaligned. But I've had it. I remember it was like that back when I was like at school and like you'd go to the or at least I don't know if every school did this but I'd go to like the gym and there'd be like a doctor checking for scoliosis and when they checked my back they were like you're good you don't got the bad scoliosis you're gonna be fine but now I'm realizing I could be if this spine was if this little part of my spine was straightened up perfectly my guy I'd have like I'd be like six, three or some shit. I'd be huge. My neck would be really long all of a sudden. I'd be huge. Why does one of my spinal columns go a little bit to the left? Explain. Explain back. Why does one of the columns go a little bit to the left? It's not even like a little bit out or a little bit in. It's like a little bit left. I'm dying. Consult your star sign. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should ask them. I should ask them. Huh. Yeah, I think it's gonna be worked out of my system by tomorrow, but it's like, damn, man. When my back gets like this, awfully hard to not just shrimp, man, because any other position just makes my back even worse. I don't know why shrimping is the most comfortable with where it is. It's like high up on my back. It's like right where my neck meets my back. That's where all my back pain is right now. It's right where my neck meets my back. I'm dying. Classic Virgo shrimp. Yeah. What sucks is that, like, I woke up today and I definitely have a blood pressure headache. And it's 100% because I had to down a ton of ibuprofen yesterday for it. 
So it's like, uh, it's a fucking self-fulfilling prophecy of pain somewhere in my body, no matter what. Mmm, slamming those over-the-counter painkillers. No, Tomato, your kidneys. Think of your kidneys. Yeah, but like, I can't feel my kidneys very much. Focus, chat. Focus, carefully. Feel your kidneys right now. You can't, you can't. You can touch the spot where the kidneys should be, but you probably can't just feel them. I can feel my back and my head though. Those I feel a lot. So I, those are the ones, until my kidneys make it known that they've had a problem and are in deep, terrible pain, I do not have time to give them medicine, okay? I have two things that are making themselves known all the time. Kidney stones incoming. Don't even joke about that. Don't even fucking joke about that. I will not allow this. Drink more water, fuck up. I drink tons of water. Dude, no one I know drink more water than me and more lemonade than me. All right? I am deeply hydrated. Time for a full no salt diet. I can't live like that. I can't live like that, dude. I'll tell you what I do need to do though. I got a fucking. I have no. I'm, dude, I'm running out of pills. That's all I have left of my fucking like low bro, like my blood pressure medication. I'm running out, and this thing says no refills. What the fuck did my cardiologist do? They typoed some shit. Been trying to reach up for like a fucking week. They're these little pills, but they've kept me. They've kept me strong. No refills. When's my next appointment? November! That's a lot of time. I gotta really start cutting these pills up into fucking 18ths, my guy. What the fuck? Yeah, I just gotta fucking. I gotta like call them because like my freaking. No, there's like a fucking website I'm supposed to use for my hospital and like no one fucking uses it It's like a it's a trick. To, it's a trick to hide from patients <laughs> It's a fucking trick and they always go like you gotta use the website, but if you use it, they just never reply <laughs> But yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. He's Goku dying of the heart virus. I don't look, I know that my headache I got today was from ibuprofen was like slamming. I slammed a lot of it. I, I, I went right up to the cap of what I was supposed to take on the bottle. All right. And that's something I've been advised many a time to not do. But I decided that I would take the risk because I was in a lot of pain. But I'll tell you what, okay? I have yet to confirm because I've not gone off of this medication if it is actually the exercising I've done that has reduced my blood pressure. I will never know. I would like to never know, to be honest. I'd like to never find out which one of the two helped me, if I can help it. Because that would that would bring in a phase of risk and danger. Ibuprofen can cause liver failure. Be careful, tomato. Yeah, I'm sure my th my one day of taking ibuprofen will be taking me down. Thank you, chat member. Your messages are noted. Dude, no fucking way, dude. He's gonna fucking... He took one Benadryl, dude. Did you know what that does to your lizard brain? Dude, you're gonna run... You're gonna forget how to breathe, man. 
You're gonna forget how to breathe automatically. You're gonna die. Dude. Dude, you cannot take vitamin C supplements, dude. They will kill you. They are too concentrated, bro. Your liver will not be able to handle it. Your kidneys are gonna fucking melt down, dude. What's up, Benji? Hey, man. I saw you were playing this, too. I saw this a couple days ago, and I was like, damn. Looks like a cool little survival game. Remind me of Raft a little. Hope we had a good stream. Dude, it's like people have some kind of fucking... I was in hardcore, I fell. How did, uh, how hard was it to survive in hardcore, Benji, without, like, a lot of context to what was going on? Because, like, if it wasn't that bad, I'll fucking do that, too. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'll do it, too. It wasn't bad at all, just don't walk off. Oh, he died from... Would it be mo... Did he die from, like, a very obvious, like, oh, hee hee ha, that absolutely is a 2,000 foot fall that I died doing. Or was it like a hee hee ha ha, I should have been able to survive that, it was six feet. He walked off, he just X, he fell down the stairs. It was a 12 foot fall. Maybe I honor rule it. Maybe I do- maybe I don't do true hardcore. Maybe I do the difficulty beneath hardcore. Just to avoid a 12-foot fall. We'll see. I'll think about it. Chat. I don't know if you remember what happened with Zompiercer, but I have not had a good race. I- like, my- my luck has not gone very well with survival games recently. I would like to make sure the next one goes a little better to be frank that fall might speak might fix your f spinal issues you think you think that'll fix my spine Benji what's the medical you're a smart guy right Benji what's your medical diagnosis on uh if one of my spinal uh like pieces is like a little bit left though If it's a little left, though. You're a scientist. Is it terminal? As a medical doctor, you need to be reformed. <laughs> reformed? What do you mean, reformed? <laughs> Back into the cocoon. <laughs> Dude. That- that is some of the most conceptually terrifying shit ever. The idea of, like, fucking getting to a certain point in your life from eating enough leaves and being like, it's time to melt my whole deal down in a big ol' sack and come out a totally new thing. Like, that is some nasty shit. That ain't you, right? Like, we've talked about this. That ain't you anymore. You melted down. My god, you turned into soup. My brain doesn't survive being soup. If you turn my brain into soup and then you unsoup it back into brain, that ain't me. Apparently they retain memories. Yeah, but like, so would a clone con- like, so would like a fucking copy, right? Like, well, this is the kind of Soma shit. This is like Soma talk right now. It's like, yeah, you're gonna retain the memories, but that might not really be you anymore. They've got the same memories, but this is like the Star Trek teleporter debate, okay? And once all my brain been taken apart and put back together again, I fundamentally was dead. And anything that is rebuilt after that is not me anymore. I died. Dude, I died. But tomato wings. I don't think wings is gonna do it for me, guys. I do not think wings is enough for me to metamorphosize. I don't know, dude. If I was a caterpillar and someone told me that my end goal was to eat enough leaves so that I could melt down into soup and then get wings, I'd be like, I'm good, actually. I think I'm, like, my job right now is just eat leaves. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm good, actually. I think I'm okay. It'll fix your back, too. 
Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no. But what if I wake up? But what if I wake up and my back's still bad? <laughs> what if it just copy and pasted me with the bad back? Does that mean that I was that was the intended result? Dude, chat, look. I'm not going back in the cocoon. Plus, like, I don't trust the outside world while I'm in it. Like, dude, I don't fucking trust someone to not, like, bump into the cocoon and pop it and then my fucking brain juice pours out and I fucking die, dude. <clears throat> like, how the fuck am I supposed to know? Like, I can't do anything once I'm in the, once I'm in there. Okay, but as a caterpillar, you're very likely to get stepped on. Nah, dude. No one steps on caterpillars. They're friends. They don't even know what's going on. Why would you step on them? They literally don't know where they are or what even life is. Why would you step on them? They didn't do anything yet. Some are big and gross. Wow, dude. Did you learn nothing from the hungry, hungry caterpillar? Just because they're big, that just means they're hungry and they're getting a lot of food. That doesn't mean they're gross. You piss me off. Don't some caterpillars sting you? You know what I don't think stings you? Butterflies. Why would I want to evolve? Why would I want to metamorphosize away from my blade? My caterpillar Nippon Steel. Do you understand? Why the fuck would I want to do that? Dude. Flight is OP. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Hide in the dirt. Dude, hide in the dirt. Right now. My dog eats butterflies. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, well, yeah, people like, but I guess not really people, but like animals eat caterpillars too. I mean, I'm sh actually sure some people eat caterpillars, some just unacceptably nasty folk. Um, I, I don't think that the odds are very high that you're going to be a target as a caterpillar of people like coming to get you, you know? My dog eats bees. Yeah, but your dog is dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mine's dumb too. It eats bees. Okay, that's just what dogs do sometimes. They, they eat bees. <laughs> but we can't adjust for that. The dog's going to eat what it's going to eat. Psycho freak sicko. I, I, dude, I'm just saying it how it is. Most dogs don't really get that bees are going to sting them once they eat them. Butterflies drink caterpillar juice. They eat the young so they can be more toxic. Butterflies drink the caterpillar juice of like other, like, so wait, so like a butterfly will pop out of its cocoon and be like, got out of there before Jerry, and then go to Jerry's cocoon and fucking slurp that shit up like some sicko before Jerry has a chance to fucking evolve while they're in the cocoon. That is toxic. Absorbing the mutagen. That's some cell shit. 
Chat, if butterfly, if caterpillars are broken down into essentially mutagen in a goo form for, like, for formation and or consumption, what's stopping a human from simply walking up to the nearest cocoon, cracking that thing open, making it a delicious beverage, slurping that shit up, and getting butterfly powers? What's that? What's stopping humans? from drinking up those caterpillar stem cells and becoming a superhero. Think about it. Just picking up that that nature's gusher and crunching down that thing and slurping that shit up. <laughs> What's up? What's wrong? Come on. You know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm just saying what you're all thinking. You're just not brave enough to really think about it too hard. You're freaking me out today? Dude, it's not a bad idea, actually. I don't think it's a bad idea. Tomato is a living intrusive thought. Eat the cocoon. Devour the gusher within. Slurp up the juice and become the next superhero. Eat the bun. You don't know if it's going to give you superpowers until you've tried it once. You have to try it once. Statistically, if no one else has ever eaten it, and you're the first, and you find out it's superpower juice, then you're going to look pretty cool. What are the odds that no one else has done it? It's not zero. Nobody will think you're cool. It's not like you should go out. Listen, okay? It's not like you should go out in public and be like, Hey guys, I grabbed all these fucking caterpillar cocoons and I'm gonna slam them all. I'm gonna slam them all right now. Here I go. Like, but like, if you quietly fucking grab one and you, you give that a quick check, just to be sure. What's so wrong with that? Butterfly Man is a lame superhero name. Yeah, but you don't have to do that. Just because like... Just because, like, Spider-Man and Batman thought that that was the best they could do and they fucking shrugged. That's not, that's not on you. You don't have to fucking care that much. Like, you, you can, you can put more effort into it, dude. The cocoon slurper. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. Do you think that if Spy like, here's the thing. <clears throat> here's an important factoid I think we need to think about carefully if you find out that you could gain all of your superpowers from snacking on literally one random caterpillar that was evolving um in a cocoon is now you have to confront the reality that if you down another one do you become more powerful again or do you simply kind of skew more towards like a the fly scenario and the more of it you eat, the more powerful you get, but the more butterfly-like you become until you're just a big butterfly. Because this is like a Spider-Man. Do you think Spider-Man could have, like, would have fucking done, like, a double dip on the spider bite had he had the opportunity? Probably they've covered this. They've probably covered this. Man spider. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, all I'm saying is that I think humanity is being held back by our desire to not eat stuff that's a little nasty. And I think if we experimented more with just snacking on anything, follow the lead of our silly dogs eating bees, we may find ourselves are more powerful than we originally anticipated. Think about it. I 
everyone, go outside and eat a bug. Go on now, get on out there. I swear to God, if you go out and eat a bug, I'll go out and eat a bug, everyone. Let's go out there. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, chat. Now that half of the chat has fallen for it and have gone outside to eat bugs, this is my setup to totally dunk on them hard with the 20 minute setup of trying to trick people into eating bugs and caterpillar goo. I'm preparing myself now for the part where I laugh at them. Once they've returned, wiping caterpillar <laughs> juice from their faces, excited to see what happens. We will have such a good time. Why did someone use the new system? Why would you do this? For a hundred dollars? These are few and far enough between it. I will at least read these because they are gated behind a hundred dollars and it looks like ChatGPT had something involved. <sighs> Mr. Chaddington, 1213, thanks for the hundred dollars. Tomato, you're like a tomato trying to play video games. You're all red and squishy, but your skills are just as rotten. I bet even the NPCs laugh at your pathetic attempts to win. Keep gaming, buddy. Maybe one day you'll level up from being a tomato to a slightly less embar embarrassing fruit. Chat GPT. That ain't real. Chat GPT wouldn't say that. That ain't real. $100 roast. And, and it should be no lower frankly, and it should be no lower. And it should be no lower. 65 dollar profit baby. I fucking am so mad that you had to point that out. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. That's fucked. Just some funny words. Just a little fun we're having. But yeah. I don't know, chat. I think I think caterpillars shouldn't be doing what they're doing. I think that's my hot take. I'm gonna be honest. I think they should just stick to eating leaves. Just eat leaves. You don't have to do anything else. Society expects you to change, but not me. Stagnate. Remain the same forever. Never grow. Never improve. Just stay the same. Forever. The caterpillar meta is kind of shit. Chat, think about it like this. Freaking, like, plan, like, imagine any of those Pokemon that are just a cocoon. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I'll tell you what doesn't happen to them. They aren't sent out to fight goddamn, like, I don't know, Rayquaza in an arena. <laughs> Metapod ain't sent out there to get killed. He stay like that, little, or like even the little caterpillar guy? They're not sent out there to die, I'll tell you that much. They're kept safe. Mine is. Beyblades, but with metapods. Holy shit, what the heck did you just say? Damn. Damn, when are they gonna make another Beyblades game, man? When are Beyblades coming back? Did Beyblades ever leave? I swear, I feel like if I look up anything about Beyblades, I'm gonna see something where they kept escalating Beyblades until someone lost a finger or like a hand or a foot. 
Like, that's what I'm more worried about, is that, like, I'm gonna, like, look up Beyblades, and they're gonna be like, yeah, uh, someone got fully decapitated by a rogue Beyblade during a Beyblade battle. And then they stopped making them. They got cheap. Dude. I remember, like, everyone being into, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards at school and stuff, but you know what was the fucking real one that everyone played when I was a kid? You'd be at the bus stop, kids would be pulling out their Beyblades on the sidewalk. And you'd be, you'd be fucking letting it rip. Okay? You'd be letting it rip. I remember, though, there was that one kid at my bus stop who had, like, the fucking Beyblade that was the size of my head. Like, my head now. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking coming in with that, because that was like pulling out an Obelisk the Tormentor level bullshit, but like an Obelisk the Tormentor that was written in like some kind of weird mix between Spanish and English and very obviously had fan art on the fucking like page, like an illegal forged Obelisk the Tormentor, which... God, those things were fucking everywhere. You'd have like some fucking Obelisk the Tormentor and fucking like... I don't know, pig Latin or some shit. I have a fake slifer. I have, like that's the thing is that at a certain point, was any of the obelisks real? Or any of the God cards, were any of them real? What the fuck? I don't think any of them were real. I had a fake single card version of Exodia. Damn. I think the only fake I had was an obelisk. Isn't that cheating? Dude. There ain't a single kid on the planet Earth that played Yu-Gi-Oh properly when they were a child. <laughs> that, that literally didn't happen. <laughs> No one knew how to play it, and you can say you did, but if we go back to the rules and we did a flashback, if there was like a camera filming that game, I bet a billion dollars you broke at least one rule. You doofus. You don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! No one does. If there ain't a fucking video game telling you how to play it properly, you literally can't play it. You're a fool. You don't know anything about anything. You're nothing. You'll never be a duel master! <sighs> Sorry, that was just me repeating the exact words of my elementary school rival who tore up all of my cards after defeating me in a single game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I had a I had a Kaiba moment. Yeah, I had a Kaiba moment. They owned me. Except instead of like proceeding to become like uh, a better duelist, I gave up. <laughs> I gave up. I uh I clocked how toxic the environment was, and I walked away. And honestly, Yugi owned? Yugi owned? Ain't no way time that person out. You gave up. Dude, I was like eight. My guy. Kids were out back behind the school playing like Psycho 2 Square and 4 Square, basically killing each other, and that seemed more fun at the time. After how hard I got owned, that seemed more fun. I got really good at 4 Square, dude. Holy shit. I got really good. I got real good at 4 Square.
But two square, that was where the fucking, that's where the real gamers went. Four square was like casual. Two square was like, we had a two, dude, a teacher had to fucking ref two square because of how competitive the kids would get during recess, dude. There'd have to be a teacher, like, actually chaperoning the game. Like, th those became, like, fucking actual war zones. I managed to break my growth plate playing Foursquare. Good times. If you didn't walk out of Foursquare with a fucking permanent injury that changed your life, honestly, you weren't playing hard enough. What the fuck is a growth plate? I assumed someone else would answer if I just glossed over it. If you break your growth plate, you stay 5-2 forever. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> is that your cope for why you're like, like short? Is that the cope? I wasn't supposed to be like this, dude. I played four square too hard, dude. My growth plate got shattered in eight different spots, dude. Played too hard, dude. I got too into the game. I just blame genetics and move on. It is the fucking easiest out to just blame your fucking, you know, direct family for every single problem you have with your body. It's what I do. It ain't my problem. I send my mom hateful messages and just say THANKS in all caps. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're just a big lump, like, like you're a big lump of nerves. That's not confirmed! That's not confirmed! That's an unconfirmed medical anomaly. 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 We don't know. We may never know. Nerve ape POV. What the fuck are you talking about? Nerve ape? Cruelty squad, you dunce. Ain't no way you just did that to me. Go to hell, man. You think I remember every single fucking... I, I, dude, I don't even know if that is from Cruelty Squad. You could just say that about anything. You could just say that about anything. Fake fan, fake fan. Getting owned a lot in this intro. Dude, listen, okay? It's a ever, it is it is a cycle. It is a cycle. I own you guys for a bit and fucking lead you to believe it's okay to drink caterpillar goo. And then you come swinging on back once you've gone and done the thing that, you know, I spoke about. I'm sure at least one of you, even if you're quiet, Got a lot of caterpillar group right now. Good for you. You fucking sicko. But listen, the more you own me, the more I have to talk about for the intro. And then you're owned. Because then I didn't have to play the video game. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to actually try at all. Think about it. The content was literally handed to me on a silver platter and you got owned. So how are we owned? <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> it's a fucking perfect system, chat. 
whether I'm owning you or you're owning me, at some point, I'm the one that's making all the gains, you know? And that's cool for me. I'm farming you for content and you didn't notice. Think about it. Parasitic relationship. We're farming you! Yeah, but that's exactly what I'd want you to think. That's exactly what I'd want you to think. Isn't it? Think about it. Why don't you try talking about something people actually care about for a change? Hmm. 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 What have, what have we not talked about that people care about at this point? What what are what is an uncovered fucking zone? Pollen? That is that's nothing. Horses, rather not. POE two. Damn. No, I don't want to do that. I don't think I want to do that one. Did he do PvP? Now finally someone said it. Finally someone said what I'd really wanted to talk about. I was just waiting. Hell yes, man. But yeah, we are gonna actually get into the game soon. Chat. I do want to play this. I, I This is actually like a very well put together early access survival game right here. I don't know if I'm going to do it on hardcore. I don't know if I want to get owned that bad. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. I'm still kind of trying to consult whether or not I, uh, I actually want to engage with the hardcore mode if Benji just fell 12 feet and died. I'm not really sure I want that to be how I go. But realistically at the same time, if I take it slow and am careful, it should be fun. Prove you're stronger than Benji. Chat, the last stream I did got cut short by like five hours. I really need this one to be a four hour stream. <laughs> I'm gonna really need this one to last the full duration of a stream today. I just need one good stream, that's all. My average stream time is diving hard lately, chat, because I just keep getting owned. I kinda need this one to, I kinda need this one to run the full length. Let's consult the difficulty options menu. How about we do that before we decide if we're gonna do hardcore and then I die 13 seconds in. Okay, let's, let's consult that. I think that's a good idea. Whoa. What? He's gonna start getting a 30-70 revenue split at this rate. Uh-oh. No, uh oh, <laughs> that's just wrong. Hang on, I just want to make sure I'm on maximum graphical settings. This game automatically keeps motion blur off. I appreciate it. Clay. So I did like walk around for a minute and make sure the game worked multiple times actually. I actually walked around multiple times because of how spooked I was after the way that the uh, last game I tried to play on stream broke every PC I owned. Uh, so let's see here. We got easy, food and drink bars drop much slower, no loss of resources after death, normal, loss of 20% of basic resources. 
hard. Food and drink drop at an increased rate, loss of 50% of basic and advanced resources types upon death or permadeath. Same as on hard, difficulty level, but in addition, death means the end of the game. Chat, but like, we're on early access. Chat, we're on early access. If I do that, I'm going to possibly get owned so hard, and I might even bug out. I think we need to, I, I'm willing to do hard permadeath honor rules. That's what I'm willing to do, okay? I'm willing to say, if I get killed by something or fall into the fucking void, it's over. But honestly, I'm not really willing to risk permadeath if a bug kills me. That's that's kind of where I'm at on an early access game because I have had that happen many a time in early access survival games. So I will say I'm on one life, but I'm gonna do it on hard. I really, really don't want to have my stream ruined because of, like, a ladder bugging out. There will be no other end of the world. Earth looking pretty stinky right now. Stop. Settings. Gameplay. Controls. Sensitivity. 38%. Chad, I'm going to go to the bathroom because I actually forgot to go to the bathroom before I started. So I'm going to leave you here for just one more moment. Okay? I'll be right back. I can't walk away for five seconds without chat going crazy. I guess I should have been on the standby screen. I went to the bathroom. Okay. Jeez. And now I'm here. And I'm ready to game. I'm dialed. I'm locked in. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. It's the middle of spring. Seasonal allergies are at all time high as pollen has begun to expand across the world. Earth. The, the pollen storms ripped this place to shreds, Chad. My allergies are going fucking crazy. Let me take a look around. Sagittarius 2 went silent for months, then this one signal, and then silence again. None of us know what awaits you there, but if there is a chance that they have found the virus, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus sample at all costs. The fate of us all depends on you, the Ark. Okay. 
Okay, bye. All right, chat. So that's a death fall. I don't think you survived that if you fall down there. Plus, even if I could survive it, imagine all the allergies I'd be in taking. We gotta watch our step as we travel around this place. This place is a fucking death trap. Check the database for details. My health is low from the crash. I gotta make sure I grab some of these parts I see everywhere. These machine parts are gonna come in handy. That's where Benji fell? Right there. Right outside the thing? Right outside the starting pod? What the fuck? Look at all those birds! Wow, dude. What the fuck is that? Huh. Chat, this place is kind of a fucking shithole. When I really look around, um... What the fuck are the... <laughs> it's a gigantic super pollen! Chat, if that thing touches me, it would burn my skin. Uh, immediately. I would be having a perfectly good, fine time, and then all of a sudden that thing just... And I'd go, ah! And then I'd fucking die. I'd, my body would just fucking melt down. This computer is not on. I have to turn it on with uh, some kind of battery, I think. Good scream. Thanks. I try really hard on those. It's actually one of my, it's one of my best features is the uh, way I, uh, the way I scream, the way I can just wail. That's why I know I'd be safe in a murder movie. If a murderer tried to get me, I'd just scream and everyone would hear it. They'd know. It's all gone to hell. Everything's been screwed up since we found that damned virus. We're all getting sick, equipment is breaking down, and there's this Noah situation. The power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible battery. Oh. I found some canned water, chat. Do you remember the forests? No. No, I do not. Ain't no forests out there for miles, just dust and gigantic pollens just floating around every which way. What's this? Sun melon. Melon belly. Melon belly. Oh! Damn, this guy dead as hell, guys. Uh, it looks like the pollen might have gotten him. Let me just, uh, I don't want- I want to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't want to miss any items. This is kind of like one of those raft-style survival games, so, like, these specific items are very important. Battery. We got it. We can plug this in downstairs. I'm fucking actually dying of thirst. Hang on, I'm gonna drink my canned water. Mmm. I'm sorry, did I not just drink it? Oh, yeah, I'm good. What? What'd that say? Did my- did that what was that water full of viruses? Hold up. Help. Help. Let's not think about things like this. Undelivered message. We were down under the dust. We found a lab where they first analyzed the virus 400 years ago. That's when it all started going to hell. Noah went crazy. That bastard stole the sample, our airship, and broke the radio. He just left us here to die. He's dangerous as all hell. The location of the sample is at the overgrown greenhouse. A scientist lived there who studied the flora from under the dust. If you want to get there, try visiting some radio towers and wind farms to get necessary devices. Be careful. This world no longer wants us. It's not a place for humans anymore. Oh. Okay, well, uh... Chat, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can hold my breath really good. I'm not gonna breathe in any of the pollen. Oh my god. Everyone died up here. Oh wait, hang on. Noah's madness. It's all because of this damned dust. Noah heard voices. He was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He said he knew what to do so we could return to Earth again. He wanted us to help him to follow the voices in his head. Lunatic. We locked him in a cell for his own good, but the bastard hid the extractor and ran off while everyone was sleeping. Huh. Everyone's getting pollen madness. 
They're all going insane. They're losing their goddamn minds, Jet. Hang on, I've got some snacks here. A delicious snack. I'm also... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, I got a disease from the melon! Oh! Oh, I got photophobia! What the fuck is photophobia? I got a disease! Hang on, I have to check my database. <clears throat> photophobia. Ain't no way. <laughs> what the fuck just happened to me? Photophobia. Looking directly into the sun causes visual disturbance and injuries. You mean just like real life? You mean up until now I didn't have to care about the thing that me, a real human, cares about every day? What the fuck? Therapeutic nutrients. I need less sithin to cure it. Cure the virus to fill the me- Fucking goddamn sun melons. I thought that was just the name of the melon! I didn't think the sun melon actually made you vulnerable to the sun! Why the fuck were we growing those? It can't be that bad. Where's the sun? <gasps> no one's ever fallen to their death in this video game. It's hard to do that. Okay. Holy shit, what the fuck? Ah! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Jesus! Huh. Oh. Probably shouldn't try to jump it. Find a way to depart the station. Find a cure. I, how did I get diseased? In what is this? Uh, I think I picked up a fabricator. I, this is my spaceship, chat. Welcome to my home base. My spaceship. I'm going to go ahead and place a fabricator right here in the corner. Yep. That taught me a lot of things. Uh, deck extractor. I need machine parts and a transformer and I can create a deck extractor beam. I also now have to find a cure to my horrible, horrible... Ooh, you guys think I should drink some dirty water while I'm here too? Would that just be funny? Do you think I can like fucking get a nice cocktail of viruses in me? Just fill myself up with so much disease? Ow! Ow! Doesn't hurt that bad, actually. Could be a lot worse. Okay. Well, I need, um, I need a transformer. Oh, here's one. Okay. Well, that's a cool mechanic for a video game, though, chat. Let's give it some credit. I like the idea of, like, different viruses actually having, like, mechanical purposes in the game that you have to cure. Okay, so what the heck in heck is this? Calories level is decreasing. Calories level? I need food. And what the fuck is this? Extract the obstacle blocking the entrance to the workshop. Okay. Like this? Okay, so I can use this on my- OW! OW! <laughs> God fucking damn it. God damn it. Do I reset? Do I fucking reset? Do I just reset? Do I kill myself? Oh! <gasps> it's fine. I just won't look at it. I don't need to look at the sun. I'm not owned. I just won't look at it anymore, that's all. I'm just gonna collect all this stuff because I get the weird feeling I need all these materials. Like there's just a lot of stuff to collect, so I'm just gonna grab it all. Yep. All these synthetics. Just collect them all, get a nice pile of garbage. So it is very raft like, which is nice. Ah! Ow! I just want the boxes! Ow! Ain't no way. What do you mean? Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. More severe? <laughs> Where's my immunity meter? Explain, game. Game, explain. Ooh. 
Well, I'm gonna eat another one of these because I already have photophobia. So why would I concern myself with whether or not this is gonna fucking kill me again? I, I'm, I'm hungry now. I'm hungry right now. There. Ow. That totally gave me more photophobia. It's fine. It's gonna, it's gotta teach me how to cure diseases eventually, right? The doy. Of course, it's going to. Why wouldn't it? What's this? I managed to repair the research station. There's a few old blueprints preserved on the memory card, but the most important one is the scanner. It's necessary to complete its research and craft it. After that, it should scan certain objects in the world so we can acquire more data for blueprint research. I need a battery to run the device. I dug out this old power box from the ruins. There should be some batteries inside. Okay, I got two. Some more machine parts and this giant fucking table, which I just took as well. The whole thing. Chat, there's no way curing my single disease I got at the beginning of the game is an end game resource. Let's all calm the fuck down. I'm gonna cure myself. It's just a matter of time. Okay, so, uh, what do I do here? Uh, insert a battery into the research station. Done. Okay. Research the scanner. Done. Mmm, yummy. Eat up that good, good resources. Let's get this research done. Okay, and that used the charge of my battery. Okay, so now I can craft it. Done. Oh, this is a door. Okay. I've now got a scanner. new objects requiring scanning. How do I scan? Check the studies menu. How do I do that? Studies. Okay. So I can study synthetics cluster, and that's what I should study. Got it. What we have right there is some kind of big old pile of pollen, chat. I'm telling you what. Dirty water container. So we just want to scan everything we see, basically. Okay. Boxes, etc. We're getting all of it. We're good. Now I have to research engine and fuel. Wait, so you're telling me this thing doesn't even fly? That was scary. I thought we were gonna get knocked off the freaking entire, like, building by a big old ball of pollen. Chet, this, this place spooky as hell, man. What the fuck's going on out there? Uh, okay, well, I need to research. I'm running out of food. Actually, I'm, like, kind of getting a little hungry. What is this? Can I use this? What is this? Condenser membrane. Okay. Uh, food. How do I make simple insect lure, insect catcher? You tell me I have to eat bugs? <laughs> Wait, what? You tell me I have to eat bugs to live? I'd rather die. Okay, engine and fuel. Okay, I'm researching engine and fuel. The prophecy. I have to eat caterpillar goo to live. You all doubted me. You fucking doubted from start to finish. And now look at you. Now look at you. You know nothing. Nature's gushers. <laughs> all right, I'm crafting an engine. It probably is going to take a minute. So I guess I'll beam some more resources while I wait. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Go away. Go away. Why am I being hassled by the sun? Set already. Set. Set. It's not even moving. It's not even moving. Ow. <laughs> My eyes. CDDA rat experience. I hate that I get it. I mean, I was there. I streamed my rat experience, and it was very much like that. Is this thing done? 
Jesus, this thing's big. What the heck? Holy, I could just plug it up against uh, any part of this? I mean, I'm eventually going to want a second one. So I guess putting it on like the top here is fine for now. Because eventually I'd want to put it on like the side. But does it even matter? Does any of this matter? <laughs> I guess probably not. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right here. Speed 15 kilometers an hour okay now I just need some fuel for it I'm getting thirsty and hungry time is of the essence I'm dying I'm gonna need more synthetics to make more fuel Printing completed. I've got like two fucking big old bottles of synthetics I could melt down but I'd have to look at the Sun to do it and that's impossible it's actually just not an option which is a damn shame. We're gonna die, chat, because I won't have enough fucking synthetics because I can't collect half. Well, here we go. I'm gonna fuel this up. A whole fuel tank. Okay, uh, ship's done. Chat, we are officially on the first maiden voyage of our vessel. All I have to do is go forward. Fly to the source of the single flashing light over the yonder, huh? What happens if I descend into the fog? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 go up, go up, go up, go up, go up! Go up! We're fine. Okay, don't go down there. Don't go near the pollen line. It's not safe. This place is a goddamn mess. Look at it. This is also our max speed, by the way. Yep, we go a smooth 15 kilometers an hour. Yep. Ow! Jesus! We need to be careful. This place is crawling with awful garbage that can just really fucking kill us. You're flying into the wind. Yeah, but my destination's right there. What do you want me to fucking do? Also, I, d I don't really have a choice right now. This is, this is it, and I'm gonna starve and die if I don't. What the fuck is that? What is that? Is that a swarm of, like, creatures? We're gonna fly through it. Um... Huh. Ah... Uh, well, it's not bothering us right now. That looks like birds. At least synthetics are soft. <laughs> it's just birds, chat. It's just birds. We're okay. It's just a big old swarm of angry birds flying around. Not much to worry about. This is the spot. We're gonna park right here. We're gonna touch down. All right. Careful now. Land on the location with the single flashing light, okay? Let me do this nice and gentle. Easy. Touchdown. The preliminary analysis started. Now, I'm kind of thirsty. And I'm kind of hungry. We don't even own a water purifier yet. We kind of need a lot of synthetics. Uh, okay. Let's just get outside and uh, get some ex investigating done, chat. Come on. Although I'm... What was that? Did it just say I'm starving? It's okay, we're gonna find some resources right now to stop that from happening, don't worry. We're not gonna starve, we're gonna find more sun melons, and then I'll- and then my eyes will start bleeding out of my face, cause I can't look at the- OW! The sun! But we'll find a way to live, we're not gonna die. Chat, don't worry. No one's ever died before. 
Look at all this greenery. We're gonna find food in a second now. Hang on, I might actually need to get on my beam for a second though. <laughs> my dude's got asthma bad. Chat, my dude's got asthma real bad. Okay, I think I just tore a wall open enough that I can like get in there. I think. What the hell is this place anyways? Does Tomato have asthma too? He seems like the type. What the fuck does that mean? What the hell does that mean? I'm gonna bottle up this nasty water. Nope. Dude, I need food. I need food. I need food. Shut up! Y'all got snacks? I need food! This is bad. Chat, I'm gonna starve to death. Did I just get wildly unlucky and get no food? I feel like I was never really given like a... It was never really conveyed to me how to find food properly. Beyond like doing like the bug thing, but like... I've been following the tutorial and I feel like I haven't left the tutorial and yet I am... Actively about to die. I have no resources. Why is this? What is happening? Okay, I have to make. I have to craft a lure. Do I have to like fly around to fucking actually get it though? Because I don't have synthetics because I got fucking photophobia. I couldn't blast it when I was at the place where I would have been able to do that. Oh my god. That sun thing actually fucked me. Like, I actually like can't. Do like the fucking I can't I couldn't get as many synthetics as I need because those fucking bottles were full of like ten each. I think I, I think I'm I think I have to reset. I think I actually have to reset because I got owned at the very beginning of the game because of like the melons. Wait, there's technically something up there that like if I'm lucky maybe it'll give me something. Maybe. Only chance I really have of recovering from this. What a fucked up day. I mean, if I starve right now, I'm gonna reset the game. I'm not, that's not a permadeath. <laughs> like, I'm going to, I'm just gonna do a reset. Cause that's insane. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get food. I can drink dirty water. I'm not gonna die of thirst, but like I never was really taught how to eat like how to get the food and I didn't realize until it was too late that I needed synthetics, which I only really would have gotten from those bottles initially Bummer man We'll get him next time I guess unless I have something in here that I can eat quickly No. I guess I should have sat at the fucking base and collected synthetics as they flew by. I guess that's my bad. Because I haven't even seen any really floating by here. But I'm about to starve and die. And photophobia made it a little bit distracting to do much else. That said, I am surprised that the tutorial didn't like convey food and water mechanics. Considering it was conveying everything else. The higher you fly, the clearer stuff becomes. I cannot fly higher than this. I'm holding shift, it won't take me higher. So I'm already at like the maximum height of the game, apparently. But like I can't even see any synthetics now to collect. Oh, there was one that just flew by. Starvation. Critical condition. Yep. It's looking bad out here, chat. My guy's blacking out. I think it's over. When does the game auto save?
I guess they'll just respawn me. Damn, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Okay. Virus infection detected. Okay, so where am I? I'm just here. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm at least gonna get my bearings before I fucking... I'm not gonna reset off of that, dude. <laughs> we're just gonna keep... We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Uh, wow, that's taunting. <laughs> that's a taunting amount of uh, synthetics in the distance now that I can see. Is there any punishment for dying? I lost like half of my resources. Uh, from that. I lost like half of them. Pretty sure is the punishment. But, I mean, I need to get... Dude, I'm not even looking at the fucking sun right now! Fuck off! Yeah, that sun thing actually has, like... I don't know... It. I don't know why they would give you... Okay, my one comment I have right now on the tutorial, even more so than the food thing, is why the fuck they put something that gives you a permanent disease without teaching you how to cure it? I assumed that that sun melon thing was so they could teach you how to cure a disease. But I've not been taught that, so now I've just got a permanent debuff on my character that goes through my deaths. I don't have to live with it, but let's see if I can feed myself now. That's a solid start. Let's confirm that I can feed myself. Printing completed. Now that I know I had to. So, insect lore, in. Okay. I've sent it down, and I guess it'll pull up insects when I catch an insect. So that's food. I have first aid. But I have no source of water yet, so I need to get water going, too. I can make a water purifier. We need to do that next. Oh. We got bugs! That is not a bug, that is lettuce. That is not bugs, that's lettuce. Cooked food. Oh, that cured my photophobia! Okay, so lettuce cures my fucking photophobia. Finally. Good. I can look around again. I'm stable. I can see. Take that, sunlight. Yeah, that's right, doofus. You can't stop me now. There we go. Now I have plenty of sources of food, too. I'm going to send the line back down. Nice. Grab the water purifier. I guess we'll just put that up against the uh, wall here. Can I put it, like, outside? No, that'd be dumb. Why would I do that? Put it right there. Mmm, water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Research the airship builder. Is next on my, like, required stuff. Okay, now let me expand my airship, which is good. Oh, hang on. I think another lettuce is biting the line, chat. Why is my guy blacking out? Chat? Why is my guy getting blurry-eyed? Wait a minute, that's not lettuce. That's a moth. No, 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 that wasn't the sun setting. My dude's eyes got blurry. Hang on, I want to see if I can make, uh... That moth can wait a minute. Okay. I want to make a box, because if I make a- if I learn how to make storage boxes, I'll be able to, uh, protect myself from losing all my resources. If I get, uh, starved- out. Oh yeah, I ate that guy. I did eat that guy raw. I should probably learn how to cook things. I need space. I need, uh, I need to research some stuff. Uh, I can also make the airship builder. I'm gonna do that. Ate the moth. Yeah, 
And I do it again. Whoa! I do it a thousand more times. All right, I'm starving. These nasty creatures have taken over this entire planet. Oh, my water's dead. Delicious, clean drinking water after all this time. Yummy. Okay, uh, airship thing is done. Oh, got something else on the line. Where do we got now? More dust. Okay, I need to make another lure. Calories level is decreasing. Shut up. We'll make the lore after. Yeah, first I'm gonna make my my airship constructor. Where does this guy poo? Uh we evolved past that man. I don't poo anymore. That's a thing uh we don't do that. Printing completed. We actually don't go to the bathroom anymore. Whoa. Okay, so can I just expand my ship? How does this work? Build menu. I would like to create, that's a wall, catwalk. I want to make a room, which means I need more synthetics and more metals. Good news is, that's all really cheap stuff if I just use the beam for a bit. You know, it's a lot more convenient than uh, raft in this way. I'll give it that much. Um, I don't have to use the hook. It, uh, the range on this thing is much faster. It's, it's a lot faster than raft to get the ball rolling. Definitely a lot of raftisms in this game, but this is a lot more convenient. Okay. I want to make a room. And I want to make it. No, I want to make it right there. Oh. I guess I can't do that because it would be, uh... Well, I'd be, I'd be hitting my, my, my beautiful engine. All I have to do is safely navigate around the corner of this thing and grab it. Container not empty. All I have to do is get close enough to open the fuel tank, pull all the fuel out, and then grab it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know this. Hang on, I just want to beam a couple more. I'd like to make two or three more rooms. I want to bring this back one and then widen it on each side. So I'm going to need a lot of synthetics. We're going to need a lot of plant goo for this one, I reckon. Yep. Uh, that should be enough. Is there a fucking storm coming? Okay, hang on. What are you guys? Moth swarm. Threat none. Okay, so those are moths right there. Nasty. Absolutely terrible that they're so close to the ship. We need to do something about that. Okay, I'm gonna build the uh, new rooms. Boom. Boom. And then I'm gonna make another one right there after I've moved the uh, thing. This thing right here. Pick up the deck extractor. One more new room. As soon as I've collected a couple more synthetics. Oops. But the deck extractor can be moved to here. The rain's really coming down. Not much uh, metal or synthetics to be pulled up by the wind anymore because of all of the rain. Might be worth investing in feeding myself now because, uh, the weather just- oh shit. Maybe, uh, wait, does this mean there's no, like, does this mean that there's no glass keeping me from falling out? What does that mean? Does that mean there's no- is it- is there no glass? So I can just flop out of that? Hang on. I got eyes on some metal and synthetics. I'm gonna need these. My range of motion is not great. Freaking creepy ass swarm. Absolutely creepy. Look at them. Look at them over there. 
I mean, I'll give this game one thing, though. Environment, uh, like the environment atmosphere. Pretty good looking. Whoa! What the hell? Easy. We almost got murdered by a rock. All right, one more room. God damn it. We could actually do two. Wait, why wouldn't I just do all of it? Wow, look at this place now. We made a real big old fucking thing here, and now I can make some catwalks on the sides. Or maybe the back. Maybe put it on the rear. Rear is probably easier for everything. If we put it just if we put like the beam on the rear. So is there really no glass? Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh, I need to get my I need to get the fucking engine. Hang on, let's make the... Hang on. Catwalk. <laughs> I'm not paying for walls. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I refuse to pay for walls. We will not be doing that. <laughs> Engine fixed. This bad boy's good to go. Is my guy gonna have to sleep? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, now we have our beam, which we'll put uh, right here, I suppose, facing forward. No way. And then we'll put my fishing line. Why? Why, because I'm out here breathing in all this nasty air? Why? We'll put the line right there. It collects some more stuff, though. I think I need to make a, uh... Ugh. That swarm's getting awfully close, Chant. Don't know how I feel about it. Horrible creatures. Dude, I've spent- I've spent enough time out in the woods back in my old house. I'd have to, like, walk- If I, like, walked up my driveway, like, my quarter-mile-long driveway, this swarm, there would be a swarm like that, like halfway through in like the darkness. Cause it was like one of the, part of the driveway was near like a little bug. And those bugs, my God, they would rip you to shreds out there, man. You could not take you, like I couldn't ride my, I, if I didn't have my bike and get my, actually like hunker down my head, my whole face would be bugs, basically. Those little idiots didn't even know what was going on. It was disgusting, it was horrible. Research station, check. Fabricator. Check. Perfect. Okay, so what I need to do now is feed my character or I'm going to die. Oh, I need an electric cooker as well. And I also need to sleep and drink water. See, one thing I haven't exactly figured out yet, Chad, is, um... Condenses water from air, it is unable to eliminate all contaminants, so the resulting water is dirty. Wait, what is that? It needs a... Membrane to operate. I need more catwalk space, actually. At least I can make this... Cooker in here. I'm gonna cook up this lettuce. I need water?! God damn it! God damn it, I need to drink this last water! Oh, that made me thirsty. Uh, well, I need to make another insect lure first. Printing completed. Printing completed. Thanks. One more catwalk. We can put our, uh... Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rising. No, I'm not. My immunity's fine. This computer doesn't know anything. Okay. I need to make a membrane. Does my guy not know what, how to make one? God damn it. Water condenser and membrane. My dude owns the water condenser, but doesn't know what the membrane is yet. 
That's not good. Well, I need to make a bed first. Which means I need a couple more synthetics. I need a bed. Get out! Get away from me! Get out of here! Go on now. Uh, maybe we need to move the car forward? I don't really want to be close to those things. There's not many synthetics floating by right now. Where the hell are all the synthetic balls? God damn it. Oh, I got one. Okay. There we go. If they're glowing, I can I can break them down. If I see them like shimmer. Okay. Just need to make a bed. And then I need to eat some food. Gonna load up another lure. I'm gonna have to accept that this is just gonna make my guy feel bad. You know what I mean? I don't think we're gonna be finishing a meal tonight. Like a nice cooked one, I don't think it's happening. This will be the sleeping quarters of my new spaceship. Yep. But I still have some time. Maybe I move the ship forward? Yeah, maybe we move the ship closer to some... Build a new wall on the airship. Okay, my... Okay, I need to, like, make sure I do all these tutorials so I can actually, like, access the rest of the game. Mmm. Lettuce. I can't wait to eat this raw. I'm gonna have to. How much do I get from this? Ten food. It's actually technically going to heal me. Okay. Good news is, dust lettuce is totally safe to consume on its own. Although it does dehydrate me something fierce. And my guy does not know how to make a membrane yet. I really just gotta take care of all these, like, fucking random things. Because apparently dust lettuce... I mean, it seemed like it dehydrated me. Is that true? No. I just wasn't noticing. I thought for a second it, like, rapidly dehydrated me. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna pull the ship closer to what looks like there might be more, uh... I mean, I'm seeing a lot of flo stuff floating around over here. I'm gonna pull it around. Get it closer to some, uh, you know, some orbs. Yeah, look at that. There's a massive flow of orbs over here. I'm going to turn the ship around and get it aimed at it. Yep. Looking good. Let's get some, let's collect some synthetics. Look at all of them. We're gonna be rich! That was the last of them. Oh, nope. Yes. Yes! Yes! Holy shit! Now we're cooking, dude! We've made it to one of the flow lines. There's millions of synthetics flowing down this exact trail. It's beautiful, the circle of nature. All right, we got plenty now. Uh, I need to learn how to make a water condenser and membrane. That's next. You have to do that. So I know how to, like, actually produce water. I'm gonna lower the lure again. Nice. So now I can make the condenser membrane, which is really cheap. Cool. I might even expand the catwalk a little bit more out here and make two of these. Wow, that was fast. Condenser on. I'm actually going to make another catwalk. Yeah, we're actually going to do two condensers. Does that say the ship load is getting too high? Oh. Water's coming in. Water's coming in, we caught ourselves more lettuce. The fact that these lures only last for three uses, though, is kind of criminal, considering how many synthetics it uses. Okay, bottle that water. 
I'm going to move this quick over to here. Because I want a couple of these going. I, in, in the future. What is that sound? Oh, she get away from me. <laughs> Stop. Horrid creatures. Step away from the vessel. You, 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 I don't have windows, Chad. They're gonna come in and eat all my clothes or some shit. They're gonna eat all of my fucking identical gray shirts and hoodies. Okay, I need to finish eating and drinking and then sleep. I need to fill up my stats. Where's my purifier? Oh my god, it wasn't even out. Position blocked by what? The fact that there's no... The fact that there's no walls? My meters are not doing great. Chad, I just want to make this place clean. I just want this place to be nice. Okay, that's dirty water. I don't think I can boil dirty water for cooking. Do I have enough synthetics to make another one? Okay. God, I just- I, I feel like genuinely before I can even explore, I just have to stabilize my meters. But I guess what survival game doesn't have you rapidly stabilizing your meters for the first 30 minutes? My guy's about to pass out, though. Bottle requires a bottle. So because my bottle has dirty water in it, I fucked myself because I don't... Can I just empty it? It's gonna waste some of my water, but uh, I have to be able to extract it. <laughs> Oopsie. Good to know for the future. Let's boil that there lettuce. Get that up. You're fine. You're gonna eat this moth and you're gonna you're gonna be fine. After you've cooked it. After you boiled it. Okay, so from now on we don't uh we don't pick up the water unless it's fully done. I need more synthetics. Always need more synthetics. All right, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna fall and die, dude. That's how it's gonna end. I'm gonna fucking tumble right down. Finish cooking, dude. I need to eat. I need to eat and sleep. I have to sleep, man, but then I'm gonna wake up dead. Eat that. Okay, sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I'll be alive. Yo, am I good? What the fuck was all that about? Okay, wake up. You will slowly recover. I don't know what the breathing was for. Cook the- cook that. Cook that. We will- we will be fine! Yes, I left the entire place open to air. But we're gonna get windows soon. Matter of fact, we're gonna get them. Um... Later! It'd be really expensive to do that. Actually, so I'm not going to. Gonna make another membrane. I'm gonna send another lure thing down. Dude, I'm gonna be here for a thousand years fucking recovering like- like all of my resources, man. It's never gonna end. Add another condenser bottle that- Oh, I have to f Dude, how do I make more bottles? I'm sorry, God. How do I make more bottles? <laughs> Hi, researcher. Teach me how to make a bottle. I'm gonna need more synthetics so I understand how to make another bottle. There's something on the line. What if I pull something up and it's like a gigantic monster one of these days? What's up, idiot? 
Yep. I'm eating you. Is this one done? Oh my god, I had to confirm the boil. Holy shit. I'm gonna die in this place, Chet. I'm never gonna recover. We're never gonna catch up. I'm constantly going to be, like, just absolutely owned on my meters. I constantly need so much synthetic. Okay. Dude, it takes so long to make anything. Can I make another bottle? Why is it 25? Dude, sorry, dude, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need more than it requires to make a wall, dude, a whole fucking wall. It's more than the entire building. Eat that. Printing completed. That was filling, actually. Boil that. Give me that. I might have to eat this dirty. Actually, it doesn't take that long to uh, clean water. To be fair. That doesn't take that long. We're about to recover. Calories level is My calories are fine. It doesn't take that long to purify water. We're gonna be okay. I think. I think. I'm just gonna slowly research a couple more things and then we're gonna be good and we can explore and play the video game. Shut up. Is it because I'm breathing the air? Learn how to make a electric Elements next. Pull this up. Collect synthetics. Whenever there's a tide of them, we have to get them. What the? A fa I just ate that raw. Oh no! Drink this. You're okay. All right, I'm actually feeling pretty good now. Held E by accident. We're okay. Chad, we're gonna be fine. And now I've got a I've got an extra moth that I can eat whenever I want. We're gonna need to print another, 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 another simple insect lore. And we're gonna need to make another filter too. It never ends. There's always one more synthetic you need. <laughs> always one more synthetic. Required. <laughs> okay, maybe... Radio tower variants. Do I have to scan more stuff from that place I was at? I think I have to go scan the wrecked basic turbine from that place to, like, progress. Yeah, I have to go back there. Okay, well, first let me learn how to play, like, play the game the rest of the way first, please. Uh, because I, I've yet to walk, uh, more than five feet without my character having a heart attack. Uh, so give me a second. I'm almost there. I've almost recovered. I'm almost stabilized. Anything to scan out here? I need to make windows, I need to make a wall. Which means I'm gonna need... <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. Wouldn't you know it, I'm gonna need one more synthetic. Wouldn't you know it. We're gonna need at least one more synthetic. Nice. That's a good wall. I just put that there so I can get the thing done. I'd like to do all windows, to be honest. Pull this bottle out. I need to- the next cycle of this that's purified needs to go in for cooking. Actually, I guess I could use this one. Yeah, this'll work. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking catch more fucking stuff. Wait. 
Shift click. Okay, shift click moves it. We are almost stable, Chet. It's a matter of time now. We're gonna go to the place. We're gonna get some scans done any second now. I just want to make sure that we have, like, food good to go. And we don't, like, need another bottle or anything. I just want to make sure the cycle's correct. Okay. Water. We can extract when we need. And we can get it in there. Alright, it looks like we're good. Now, technically I need to sleep still. So I might need to do that before we leave, and then we're ready to play. We can finally play the video game. We've got moths. Cook it on loop. I'm gonna go to sleep. My dude is way better off. When we wake up, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna... I'm gonna drink. And then... We're gonna go do what we gotta do. Okay. Drink water. Good. Eat. Food. Good. And we have a spare meal. For another 40, we are officially stabilized, chat. The winds have changed direction. I'm gonna collect everything I see out, y'all. Oh my god. Wait, this is actually really good. Hang on. Man, I'm not gonna miss the opportunity to beam up like a ton of stuff. There's no way. We're thriving now. Things have changed. We've entered our thriving stage. It took a bit longer than I was anticipating, but we are now officially in thriving stage where we have stabilized our guys immunity is back up we don't need windows catching loads of lettuce we we've entered yes we've entered abundance arc all it took was devouring many bugs to get there boil it now we do need to make another uh membrane Printing completed. Printing completed. Dude, I'll be happy once I have like a hundy of both of the resources though, the main ones. Which it looks like I'm gonna have pretty fucking quick considering how much is flowing down this fucking path. Like there's loads of synthetics right now, this is great. This is actually huge, like I, I feel like I- I feel like I was just getting owned by the wind direction actually. Cause this is crazy. Dude, I'm drowning in items now. Holy shit. Was I just in a bad spot? Maybe I was just struggling because of that. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna make another lure. I don't want to add any more stuff to the base because it's apparently gonna get too heavy to move. But I'm gonna finish the lure that's here. I'm gonna make sure that, oh yeah, look at that. Meals on the side, we're gonna pull another up. We're gonna process this, it's got full, full bottle of water right there. Once that catches, we'll move on, get our scans done. Jeez, the wind is getting a little strong though. Wind's really picking up now! Pesky creature. Okay, we're done. Alright, we're gonna go do our thing now. Time to explore. Water's purifying, let's go back to the signal, which was this one. We need to quickly scan it, because I, like, didn't do it last time. I mean, I think it was this one. Ew, 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 they're getting near the ship. Ew, they're like flying in it. Harvard. All right, chat. I'm just gonna hop out quick and do a scan now that we're not on like a huge time limit. That's the thing I needed to scan, actually. Hell, I think I can just... Is that a crack? What the? Yeah, let's go ahead and patch that up. Didn't realize, uh... I was in imminent danger. 
Increases flight altitude of the airship. Effect multiplies for additional units built. How do I make that? Wait a minute. Basic turbine. I can make that right now. Okay. Dude, we're finally cooking. Now, I want to remove this because this actually, this wall is pissing me off. I don't need it. I don't need it. That wall is not going to help me at all. All right, Jet. We've got a lot of synthetics. We got a lot of metal. We're finally cooking. I'm going to learn how to make machine parts because that's another one of those basic resources I think I just require. I'm going to need electric filaments. I'm going to need machine parts. I'm going to need some metals. Now, I can find it if I find a location with double flashing lights. Oh my god, over there, over yonder. Do you see that in the distance? That's our next destination. Chat. It's time. We have to travel to the location with the double flashing lights. Now it's going to take us a thousand years because this is literally our maximum speed. The one I'm doing right now is our maximum speed. But if there's one thing I know, it's that oh god. Ew 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 if there's one thing I know, it's that while I'm locked speed going straight in this direction, turns out I can actually do this at the same time, which is really convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect some uh, stuff while we travel. I don't know why I wasn't doing that the whole time. It's not like we're gonna crash. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, 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 we're fine. Don't listen to the game on that. Is that full? Okay, I'm gonna fill this up and purify it. We might swing by that other destination there. I'm gonna turn the ship. We're gonna go to that spot too. It's gonna take us a little bit to get there though, so... I'm gonna do some basic collecting of some resources. Now that I know that I am able to very quickly do this while I work, Whoa, 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 what's happening? What the fuck is happening? There's some kind of dust storm kicking up! I'm gonna try to pull us towards the radio tower. We're not gonna die, chat. We're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. We just need to stay calm. We're gonna pull up to that station. We're gonna plop ourselves down. The wind isn't that bad. We're gonna just take a gentle landing right there on that station, and then we're on our way towards the double light station, which will provide us with all the answers we need. It's just unfortunate this place is infested by moths. Oh, we just ran out of fuel. Joke's on you, game. <laughs> we just arrived where I wanted to be. Looking pretty dumb right now, not gonna lie. Gonna make some fuel. The moths must have devoured the fuel supply. Printing completed. Bottle it. Oh fuck, I fucked up the order again. Hang on, I am actually going to make one more bottle. I'm gonna make one more bottle because I keep- if I like fuck up the order, then I actually can't extract clean water out of this thing. I needed one more. Okay. Eat a snack. Alright, Jet. Let's check this place out. Oh wait, I was actually gonna put the fuel in the tank first. Am I locked out? This side's easy. Okay. Nice. What kind of dark secrets does this place hold for me? Does the scanner have anything? What is this? Some kind of plastic crap. What is that? 
That's a freaking door. Should I turn the ship around so I can actually beam this? Hang on. Hang on, now there's fuel again. Easy now. I'm just gonna park it this way so I can, you know, beam that door down. There it is, okay. Wait, is that all? Huh. Okay, relax. Relax. We don't want no trouble. I didn't realize that was a load-bearing beam when I broke it. Good to know, though. Oh, that's actually a synthetic thing. We want to blast that, too. Okay. Let's roll. What is this place? Machine parts, insect lures, we love that. Anything else? Canned water, the data card. Taught me how to make railings for the ship. That might be just what we need to survive. Repair gum, electric filaments. We have exactly everything we need to uh, make our, oh, and a, a Led Zeppelin. Huh. Okay. Bro! Bro! That's crazy! Battery obtained. We still need to make boxes. That's one thing I, I've clocked. So this fall killed Benji, I bet. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall for it. I'm not gonna just be tricked like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, we take the ladders back down to... Oh. My ship looks like shit. Holy crap, this thing is embarrassing. I ain't never seen a blimp quite so pathetic. Okay. Oh, I'm out of batteries. Okay. Uh, I want to research... Can't do that one yet. Um, there are some things I feel like I need to research. Like, I need to learn how to make plastic scraps. So we're gonna spend one of our things doing that. While that's happening, I'm going to craft the turbine that I wanted. I want to move faster. Research finalized. Very good. Well, there's not much keeping us here, chat. I'm gonna pull us out of the station. Yeah, I think we're gonna get out of here. We have- we know where we're going. The accursed blue station just over here. Directly behind this one. Directly next to the spooky building that almost fell over. We're getting close now. To the answer as to why this place is so freaking stinky, why there's so much pollen in the air. I'm tired of having a stuffy nose and my eyes being kind of itchy all the time despite the fact that I'm not even really scratching them. I'm just getting really tired of it is all. This is a really big machine. What the fuck do you want from me? Um... Yeah, that seems really good for my water. Probably shouldn't put it there. Eh. So can I go up more now? Yo! Ooh! I can see! Holy shit. We can see. Which means now. I can do exactly what I want without getting all lost and confused. This place is a fucking shithole. 
the hell's going on with this place? Kind of pretty though. Yeah, it is kind of pretty in like a like a horrible nightmare kind of way. Increase altitude and land on a location with a double flashing light. Oh, you know I'm about to land on that location with the double flashing light. Is there like a map in this game? No. Well, we're gonna go ahead and pull in here and park. Then we can kind of try to figure out what the heck happened out here. That's a nice parking spot right there. I don't like the blue chat. I don't like how it's changing colors, actually, in general. That's making me uncomfortable. Uncharted area. The preliminary analysis started. Okay. A standard wind farm. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Whoa! What the fuck? What do you want from me? It wants me to scan all these things, okay? We got some synthetics. We already have that. One of the things I need to scan is right here. Okay, that's some kind of radar. Whatever we hear. This must be helium fuel. Some kind of bullshit. Someone crashed here. Yeah, no, another guy with a balloon died here. Their balloon popped. Trap. This does not bode well for us. If their balloon popped, what's stopping my balloon from freaking popping too? Think about it. We might be super dead if the balloon can pop. Advanced insect lure. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna have to extract a lot of this stuff. Hang on. That's like copper. I'm gonna need that, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking all that. Apparently I can get like a better insect lore. That'd be awesome. Is that all of it? Okay. So how expensive is an advanced insect lore? Do I have to learn it here? Helium fuel, uh, more efficient. I would use both of my helium to do that. Rainwater collector. I mean, that's worth learning, but I don't think it's the most, it's the largest priority. I feel like the most important thing would be to expand my balloon so I can have more stuff on it. Uh, a base with a balloon. Each airship has at least one, but it's possible to add more parallel balloons to increase lift capacity. You're telling me I can add more balloons to my balloon and I can also just make the balloon larger? I mean, I'm going to make the balloon larger. I'm going to learn how to make the balloon larger. All right, I gotta go in this thing. Research finalized. Oh. If the balloon gets bigger, won't it pop? Oh, why didn't someone tell me that before I locked in making the balloon bigger? Why didn't you say something? You trying to get me killed? What the hell's in here? Dude, how am I gonna get this out? And why can I climb in this? There's nothing in here. I'm gonna have to pull my ship real close to get this copper out later. Dude, my dude's asthma in this game is almost as bad as Cry of Fear. This might be one of the worst yet for asthma. My guy really can't fucking breathe. This dude moves his legs, he starts heaving. Oh my god. Dude! That's a GTX 4090, bro! That's a GTX 4090, what the heck's going on here, dude? Level is decreasing. That is Pog, dude! All right, 
Lots of repair juice, but yet I've not taken much damage, so why would I care about repairing things? Oh. This won't kill me. I'm not dumb enough to do this. I'm not... I'm not an idiot. I'm gonna... Hang on. I am dumb enough. 100% dumb enough. I need to get over there. Give me one second. I just need to get over there really quick. I knew it. There's two secrets in here. Give me that. And give me the treasure down here, too. There's nothing in it. Oh. oh, don't look down, chat. Don't look down. It's a long way down to the bottom of Earth. Long, long way. You don't want to fall into the allergy dimension, I'll tell you what. You fall down there, you're going to be breathing like this, just like me. <laughs> All the time. You really don't want that. Where did I park my car? How the heck in heck do I get... Oh, there we go. Oh. Hey, you know what I've been very pleased about, chat? There's no such thing as enemies in this world. There's just the moths. And those guys said danger none. And I'm sure that's what all of the enemies say. Is danger none. <laughs> this place is this place has been taken by the viruses, which are of course not a danger or threat to me. Okay, so I can make plastic scrap out of 30 synthetics. That's expensive, but I can live with that. How do I expand my ship? Expand balloon. I would just need some machine parts and I could boost the amount of uh The amount of um lifting capacity by 400 Okay, I'm guessing that increases the amount of stuff I can have on my station That's how that works Immunity is decreasing. No, it isn't Diseases might become more severe. No, it isn't okay Well, I need to learn how to make circuit boards that feels like a necessary like mandatory thing Now I need to learn how to make the wait extracts raw resources from object remains short operating range lightweight can be carried by hand Ah So that's how I would get that copper out if I didn't want to pull my ship so close, okay uh, Well, I need to learn location radar next I need to make a box. I'm guessing boxes are uh, something I actually have to craft in here, though. Yeah, it takes a plastic scrap, but I can make more. I kind of just want a storage box for like some of the random shit. Even though I haven't had an inventory problem yet, I feel like I'm going too soon. Okay, I need to craft location radar as well. Oh, I had to place this. My Led Zeppelin did! I love that guy! I love Led. That box... Dude, all it takes... Listen here, okay? Listen here, devs. Listen here, all survival devs. I'm gonna tell you something, and I'm gonna tell it to you straight, okay? No one, and I mean no one, gets excited or happy when they spend any amount of resources and get a box that holds fucking six items. 
I don't know why you thought because Subnautica did it, it was cool, but ever since Subnautica fucked everyone by making the dumbest, smallest chests imaginable, everyone's been like, <laughs> What the? That's genius! And they all just started making smaller and smaller boxes. It pisses me the fuck off. Literally, everyone was like, Subnautica did it really good. But no, they didn't. Their boxes fucking sucked, and it made the game miserable. It made the game literally miserable. Ma Dude, this box is huge, and you're telling me that I... You're telling me I can only fit six of these. Okay, that's in a fucking cube now. It, that's, that's the size of it. The size of it is that thing. Six of those. In that... That's bullshit! It ain't right. It ain't right. Pisses me off. Okay, so I can... Why? No, they're not. The diseases are gonna be fine. Okay, so how much does it cost to make location radar? Five copper. I don't have five copper. <laughs> I'm gonna make some plastic. I'm gonna pull the ship up to that hole and see if I can uh, beam the copper out of the fucking machine, like the spot here. See if I can angle this well enough to at least get some of it. I might be able to. Nice. Nice. All right, we got some. At least it's a lot easier to see stuff to beam now. We're not gonna have any horrible resource problems anymore. I'm gonna start turning some of this into plastic so I can craft with it. I want to see if I can pull this around, because there is still some more copper in there. Let's see if I can pull it around on the other side. I think I can see the rest if I go in from- if I, like, stop a little ahead of it over here. Mm, no, I don't think so. We might just have to accept I'm not getting that last little bit of copper. That or I might have gotten it all. I may have gotten it all. I'm gonna make another condenser membrane. Printing completed. Printing completed. You guys think I should get windows? <laughs> like, I don't know, I look around at Earth, and I'm starting to think maybe I should get windows. But like, uh, when I look at this, and I'll check what I can make for walls, it don't say windows nowhere. Okay, I don't really like how it says protects the interior of the ship as if I'm about to get attacked by something. I don't own a gun. Chad, I don't own a gun. All right, well, I'm gonna make the uh, location radar. And while that's happening, I'm gonna pull ourselves away from this fucking spot. Just so we're not, like, directly next to that place anymore. I'm gonna pull us towards this giant fucking tower. A storm is coming. What? What? Dude, I don't have windows. <laughs> Uh, dude, I don't own windows. What do you mean there's a storm coming? There's a fucking blowout coming, chat! What? No. No, no. Uh, well, hang on. What if I just park the- I'm just gonna turn the ship around and park at the base over there. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, it's kicking in really fast. We're gonna park the ship! The wind is pushing us! 
What do you mean airship module critically damaged? I've barely done anything. Park the ship at the windmill! <gasps> Go around it. Park! 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 Set it down! Set it down! Set it down! Oh. Lightning strikes the highest targets. Lower altitude or seek cover. Lower altitude? We're going underneath this thing! Hold on to something, Chad! Oh, fuck. We're gonna be okay. We've gone beneath the clouds. Okay, now we've gone too low, we need to go back up. What? What do you want? Oh hell yeah, lettuce. I don't think it's safe to hold that dude, repair it. Repair it. We're all gonna die, Chad, the storm! Wait, huge idea. I'm gonna eat. And when I wake up, this whole thing's gonna blow over. It's a goddamn shithole, I'll tell you what. Find coordinates for underdust location. What the fuck does that mean? Reach the exclamation marker on the radar. I'm afraid I can't reach much of anything, what with this horrible death storm overhead. Chat, the storm has not blown over. Matter of fact, I would say the storm is angrier than ever, is the words I would use. I'm gonna cook some lettuce. Chad, unfortunately though, I don't really have time to sit around. We have, uh, work to do. Oh, it blew over. We lived. A lot of us, a lot of us did die. I know this, but hey, we lived. You will never forget the sacrifices of those people that freaking bit it and died. Thank you for your hard work and your sacrifice. We are now en route straight ahead to an underdust location. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna do a quick park on this. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the sound of my, like, uh, lure. Any moths? Nope, just lettuce, which I'm not gonna complain about. I mean, I'll cook another one of those. Yeah, lettuce is good food. We're gonna park here. Hell, we might even swing by another windmill on the way just to get some more copper. Wait. Have I been here? No. Hang on, I'm gonna swing the uh, beam around. Okay. Yeah, no, if I'd been here, these walls would be gone. Pop. All right. Let's grab what we need and get the fuck out of here. These batteries are good. We need those from every single one of these we, we collect. <laughs> this is the kind of fall that kills you. Eh. 
never thought I'd need a lot of those repair things, but after that storm, I got a little humbled. Uh, I'm gonna be grabbing all the repair stuff I see going forward. I also learned how to make metal walls now. I guess that makes it worth it to go to all these places just to collect the... Hey, uh, hey, that doesn't look like a fu Can I jump? I don't think I can make this. Chad, I don't think I can turn that. That doesn't look like a turn I can do. I guess I can. You did it earlier? That place was legally distinct. That was not the same place. Who knows what the rules are here? I made to make another bottle. With all this water I just got. Hop. Yep. I'm gonna have to make another bottle. New bottle needed. Or I can drink all the clean water out of a current bottle. Wait, how much water is in uh, this? Three? One more bottle would be worth it. Having a spare anyways in one of the chests would be nice. Printing completed. Because then I can just keep a full bottle in here. Nice. Huge. It's where we'll keep all my spare bottles. Is decreasing. Why? Might become more severe. No, it isn't. My immunity is fine, actually. I've been eating lots of lettuce. I'm actually shockingly healthy. That's what my doctor said. They said it was a, I was alarmingly healthy, actually. Just so you know. My doctor actually said it pissed them off how healthy I was. Because it made it, it made them feel like they never needed to even get into like a medical degree because I was already so healthy they'd never be able to save me or help me. Actually. They said, and I quote, that I was a threat to their career. And then they kicked me out. Alright? Just so you know. Awful lot of smog. Wait, it's because I'm so low. Let's pull up out of the fucking, like, wreckage line, yeah? Huh? Turbine damaged? Why the heck can you the turbine damaged? Fuel depleted? <laughs> Why the heck can is the fuel depleted? Every time I step away from this thing, something else goes wrong. Printing completed. Printing completed. Printing complicated. All right. Here we go. What a beautiful day. It's decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude! This place is a goddamn mess. Airships Ow! Dude! Am I just getting like hit by things now? My guy, that was just a wall that was damaged that time. I need water. I need water, and then maybe I'll huck the, uh, the line down to catch some more, like, moths. So, are those all moths? Is that- is this really, like, the moth planet now? Is that Earth? Stop hitting me! Freaks! Jeez. Nothing else. I need windows, dude. These creatures just fucking fly in. Ew! Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Horrible. Just horrible. A 
another delicious piece of lettuce for me to snack on. Gonna cook that up. Alright, I'm gonna pull by this question mark location, because that feels useful. And then we'll go to that spot over there, the blue spot, get some more copper. And then we'll go to the underdust. Then we'll go to the underdust. If I just lock the speed. There we go. Definitely feel like I need to get uh, walls just so I can more clearly see the places that are damaged. But I'm kind of waiting to get uh, that, that good, good glass. I want glass walls. And it's not giving me any. Oh, my lettuce is done. Is this, uh, is this a freaking plant? Why do I feel like I'm gonna get a disease landing at this place, chat? This one feels like the one that gets me a disease. Let's park. Yeah, this is gonna get me a disease. <laughs> there's no... There's just no way I don't get a disease doing this. Okay, uh... What is this? Thick creepers. Uh, I need a knife to even get through that. I wonder if I can beam it open, though. Can I beam it open? No. I have to research knives. Hang on, let me see if I can make a knife. Polymer. I don't have polymer. I might be able to find some. Is this underwater? No, we're actually in the sky. We're in the sky, you see. Isotonic drinks. Hell, I don't know what that means, actually. I got excited, but I, I don't really know what that means. What the heck is an isotonic drink? Sports drink. Just say it's a sports drink. What the hell? A tonic with ice. Mm -hmm, mm hmm well, I'm gonna drink it, because it's taking up an inventory slot. Without a knife, this place is kind of nothing. Can't really do much with this place. Let me off. Game, let me off! Oh no. Chat? Oh, there we go. It fixed itself. It wouldn't let me detach at the bottom of the ladder. No, no, no. I've learned my lesson with you sun melons. You're going right into the fucking boiler. We're gonna boil the disease right out of you. Holy shit. Never fallen for that crap again. No way. One bad melon. One bad melon, chat. Not gonna fall for it twice, tell you what. I'm not a fool. What the heck's a patate? Vegetable used in many dishes. Consume it. What disease did I get? Tell me honestly. Oh, I didn't get one. I was kind of curious if I get a disease. Guess the game got scared of diseasing me. Boil the melon? 
Let's get that melon nice and boiled up, chat. That's going to be a delicious meal at one day. Was that a raw fucking potato? Yes, it was. Is that a goddamn problem? Do we have an issue that we need to talk about? We're leaving. There's nothing else for me here. We're gonna go to towards that, uh... We're gonna go towards... Actually, you know what? Considering where we are... We're gonna go towards the exclamation mark. We're not gonna go to the uh, windmill. We're going straight towards that marker. That is the next destination. Uh, you can go up higher now. Are we at a maximum elevation right now, and yet I still can't see? What the fuck is going on out there? What the fuck is going on out here? Is there another death storm happening? I don't know if I like this, but I do need synthetics. God damn it. God damn it. Damn it. Loads of meat collected. How far are we from this spot? Oh, we're getting there now. We're probably gonna run out of fuel before we get there. I'm gonna make some more. Printing completed. Printing completed. I'm gonna learn how to make the advanced insect lure. I think that'd be a good thing to have soon. Printing completed. Printing completed. Yeah, considering we're out of lures anyways. So how do I make one of those? Oh, send melons. All right, I'm not going to be cooking any more of these. Printing completed. At least I can eat this and it's pretty good for me. Now that it's not poison. Good shit. How long does this last now? Uh, even longer? Great, is this a storm? Hang on, focus up. We're getting near our destination. Golly, chat. I really do need to get windows. Maybe I should look at what I can build now. Oh my god, my catwalks are breaking. My catwalks! That's not gonna fly. And I'm all out of repair juice. <laughs> And my fuel is depleted. And I'm dying. Good news is, I'm pretty sure making repair juice is really easy. Is what I would say, if I ever learned how to do it. How close are we to the spot? My god, that must be it! That must be it, Chad. Chad, I have some bad news. I quite literally cannot ascend any higher. And there's a bunch of moths fucking hassling me. Get away from me. Get away from me! Stop! Ew. Ew, 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 ew. 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 Ew, ew, ew. There's like hundreds of them. Actually, actually crawling into the into the building now, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so if I want to get up there, chat, I'm gonna need to add. I actually do think I'm gonna need to expand the ship's capacity. Oh my god, get out of the house. Oh my god. 
So I'm gonna need copper then. And I don't have any copper, which means I'm gonna have to go to a place to- HOLY SHIT GET AWAY FROM ME! I think I'm gonna need to go like to some places and just beam copper? Before I do this? Pretty sure blue lights are places where I can beam copper. I think blue lights signify like a higher value. So that's where we want to go right now. That's fine. We're gonna need to get some copper though before we can do much else, it seems. No biggie. We're gonna research some other thing. Actually, do I need helium? I think we literally do. Yeah, I don't want to spend my helium then. Although, if I learn how to make helium, then I can make more helium. If I don't do that now, then I have to find helium in the future. So... Actually, hang on. Stop. Before we do anything like rush out of it, rush out of the area, uh, let me check how- I still have some weight left. I have 74 uh, pounds left. I didn't even notice that bar in the corner up until right now. I have 74 pounds left, so maybe I can just make what I need. Maybe I can still fit that much more? Immunity is decreasing. You're dying. Might become more severe. You're dying. You're dying. Okay, this only costs 15. I can actually- fit both of these. Make a basic turbine and make an engine. Okay. Very good. And we'll repair all this stuff, make sure it's all actually fixed, because I know this stuff's damaged. I know the catwalks are damaged. I don't want a raft scenario where a shark bites my fucking catwalk and eats my only way of making water. I guess I'll start doubling back towards the place. Look at that thing. I don't know what we're gonna find in that place, Chet, but it can't be good. Okay, so that should allow me to go up more. Holy shit. What the fuck's going on over there? Oh, that's the sun. All right, so we're just able to reach this platform. Perfect. All right, chat, welcome to the destination. We're supposed to park here. Uncharted area. The preliminary analysis started. Okay. So, what I'd like to do before we go... Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. I want some extra food, so I actually am going to cook this, even though it'd be better used elsewhere. Just because I'm not sure when I'm going to be coming back. I don't know, like, how long, if this is going to be a long thing or not. I'm also going to sleep. All right. Time. A beautiful day. Fill up my water. Grab myself a cooked up boiled sun melon. We're gonna deposit some items here because I'm not gonna need them. Oh, wait. I have no inventory space. Take a bottle and I'll put away a full stack of, uh, I guess, glass and helium. It's time to roll. Keep your wits about you, chat. We have no idea what dangers await us at this place, and on top of it, we don't own a weapon. We never found what we needed to make a knife. So right now, if a creature jumped at me, we would be- Oh! That's leaves. 
Okay, so that's a bunch of dirty water. I'm gonna bottle that. Ooh, polymer. Chad, I can't help but feel like it's giving me all the polymer I need to make a knife because it wants me to make a knife. You know what I mean? Is that crazy? Is it weird to say that it just gave me a bunch of polymer because it thinks I'm gonna need it? I'm gonna go make a knife. All right, game, you win. I'm getting up, 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 my head feeling about all of this. Chad. I'm getting a bad feeling about this place. Almost as if we're about to be freaking killed. Before that, plant oil. I'm not gonna be able to research that. But I will try to make the polymer tool. So, knife. Okay. Nice. We're making a... I'm going to also research how to make a crossbow. Not that I think I'm going to need it. I'm going to have to make more plastic scrap, though, if I'm going to make any, uh... Research finalized. I don't really have enough synthetics to make all this. Printing completed. Printing completed. But I can make the knife. One knife, please. One means of defending myself, if you'd be so kind. Printing completed. At last. A knife. Why does my guy hold it like this? Does my guy know how knives work? Why is he holding it like that? There's like, I don't know, it's like the, the handle just seems a little bit off. I'm trying to like... Is it just a weird angle with the hand? It looks kind of weird. Whatever, it'll defend me. It will protect me. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. No, it's not. There's no such... The only disease that ever existed was the sun disease, which I cured by eating lettuce. Okay. And I'd eat it again. Dude, they're giving me a lot of polymer and it's starting to piss me off. Something's wrong, chat. Chat, something's wrong! What the fuck are they? Epoxy, automated insect catcher, and a bottle full of, and a whole barrel full of freaking slime. Something's wrong. Jupiter's, Jupiter's wobbling, you might be right. Something weird's going on, something, some kind of astral event is causing some strangeness to happen here. I'm gonna go up higher. Now, I don't know where that sound came from, but it sounded like some kind of pig. Hello? Oh, what the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, they gave me a disease. Oh, you little fucker. You better pray to God this cures it. Cured. <laughs> yeah. See you later. So what the hell did that even do to me? Auditory and visual hallucinations, immune system is compromised due to focus on ridding the body of toxins. Okay, so a lulling grass cricket did that to me. Okay, and I can get biomass from stabbing the grass. Alright. That all makes sense. That horrid creature is gone now. 
Inventory. These are all individual fucking foods, huh? God damn it. I have no space. I have to like go down and like fucking make one. I'm gonna go down to the fucking uh, box. And I'm gonna make another box. There's another storm coming! We need to get low! What the fuck was that purple? I saw purple. I need to make another box? Or two, or five? Which is unfortunate because they only hold six items each. The vertigo virus. I don't have that virus anymore. I cured myself. I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna cook this fucking bug. Actually. I'm gonna cook the bug. The storm, Chad! The fucking storm! I have no words for where I'm even gonna put this. I'm gonna put it right here. I think I just got struck by lightning! I think. Okay. I just want to let this cook and then I'm going to go back up there. You know what, I'm just going to sleep through it. We know how this works. What the fuck? Okay, well, my boiling lull- my boiled lulling grass cricket is cooked up. Chat, this is actually totally safe. Um, so please do not worry about me. This is actually very sick. Um, I'm wearing a space suit, you see. There is no problem here. We're just gonna go up to the top and get what I need. We're gonna come back easy peasy. Look how quiet it is in here. It's lovely. There's not even any creatures in here. Ow! What the fuck just stabbed me? What the? Huh. Lobster chili. Please stack. They don't. Slightly dehydrates boiled. It can help cure photophobia. I love that. I love that for me. After the last time I contracted photophobia, I will take some lobster chilies. Thank you. I'll also take that battery. What is this? Make your way through the doorway blocked by vines way ahead of you. Way ahead of you, man. That's why I made this knife. What the fuck is this poster? I don't really want this. I think I need to power this. Hang on. This needs to be powered up with something. I follow the line here. Looks like I need to go this way and then coil around and then... Well, the line just kind of disappears. And then it goes this way, and then it goes down here, and then it loops back around up here to, oh. Whatever. The latest breeding shows strong positive reactions to pollution. After a few days of exposure to sulfates, it clearly flourishes. In contrast, it gradually dies in a clean atmosphere. The side effect is unusual colors. We still have a lot of testing ahead of us before we can create a plant that purifies the atmosphere. However, 
We can give a little color to this gray and sad reality. Sample location coordinates for the location radar. Okay. Find surface lift location. Am I about to go down to the fucking beneath the dust zone? Because I don't really know how I feel about that. I don't really think I want to go down there. Chat. I'm not really sure I want to go beneath that. Like, all of that. The part of this place that's really bad. Hang on, I gotta eat my bug. I mean, I guess I'll go do that. I guess I'll go downstairs. Uh, You don't even have walls yet. Yeah, but I can do that anytime I want. Yeah, I don't have walls because uh because I choose to. Not because I can't. Okay, that's a, that's a huge difference. I just don't want them. They cramp my style. They make me feel trapped. That's right. We'll do some spring cleaning in here, but, but we're going to ride the wind. And by ride the wind, I mean go against the wind for a really long time in this direction. Straight towards the sun as it sets. And by straight towards the sun, I mean straight towards those terrifying looking weeds. All just kind of piercing out of the clouds like some kind of horrible Dark Souls-esque biome. Kind of like Kaled looking ass motherfucker. We're going to go right towards that. Did this dude say he has style? Watch yourself. You never know when I'm gonna snap. So I'd be careful if I were you. I should learn how to make biomass fuel. That's pretty big. Yeah, I mean, I should make another engine, you know, actually. How much is that? 20 synthetics, 20 metals. I think I have the metals. I have to make some synthetics. Or more specifically, beam some. Horrid creatures, get the heck away from the ship, you nasty moths. Horrible dust moths. Terrible. You cannot have any of this dust. This is my dust. Now, I'm starting to think it's actually kind of uh, intuitive to have so many things in the way of my, di like, my scanner and beam. Oh, my ch my lobster chili's done. Well, I have this motivational poster. I need to put it up. I don't have any walls. So I'm just going to kind of put it right. Yep. Cool. Okay, um, I should make walls. I just wanted glass! I just want glass walls! God damn it. Fine. I'm gonna start making walls. We're sealing this. We're gonna seal this place up like a fucking tomb. Is that what you wanted? Fine! We're gonna seal this place up like a goddamn tomb. That's what you wanted anyways. We'll seal it up. We'll seal it all up. Why'd the ship stop? Oh, I'm out of fuel. Oopsie. I need synthetics to get more fuel. But there's none near me. Oh. It's okay, I'll just collapse this building. Hey, hey. Level is decreasing. hey, woo, relax. <laughs> what the hell? Just drink some water. Did I have to turn my ship in order to see the synthetics that are over there? There we go. Now I'll be able to actually see 
stuff I need to collect. Yo, let's get a ton of this. Look at all this! We got plenty of fuel again! I just have no inventory space. Wait, I should make a crossbow. Wait, yeah, yeah, I fucking should! I'm gonna make a crossbow! Then no creature would dare attack me. They'd be killed in an instant. Now I'm gonna make some metal walls. Not enough resources. I'm gonna make a single metal wall and put my motivational poster on it. That tells me how plants do their nasty thing. Absolutely sick. Absolutely sick. In a bad way. In a nasty way. Oh, a large bottle. I'll learn how to do that. That sounds nice. We have to do like a cycle of like spring cleaning chat. Our character has been coasting for a little bit. Go. Ignore that, that's fine, that's normal. I'm gonna make a oh, mother of God, and I'm gonna make some crossbow bolts as well. Does that make one bolt? A single bolt, just one. Just one bolt, please. Okay, I have I have such a fucking need for inventory space. All of you in. All the food. Take the copper back out. We're gonna cook all these lobster chilies. That's what we'll eat. While that's happening... Oh wait, no, it is five. It's five bolts at a time. Okay, it says one. It's five. Cool. While that's happening, I'm gonna make another condenser membrane. Just so we don't have a situation where we run out of water. Um, now... Okay. None of this stuff is damaged, that's all good. Only things that are kind of damaged are these. Nice. We're gonna scoop up some more synthetic material and metal, and I'm gonna try to make some walls, okay? So everyone leave me the fo- like, leave me alone and get away from me and get off my ass for a fucking second about how nasty and sad my ship looks, okay? It's gonna be fun. My chili's done. Let's make one more. One more chili. Why is everyone so obsessed with Urge? That's a good question, chat member. And alas, I don't think anyone can answer that. I don't think anyone can possibly answer that. We do not know why things are the way they are. Jeez, it takes a lot of medals. Wait, these, these have weight? Think I'm made out of money? Me! Onwards! Wait, I didn't make fuel. Oh, hang on a second. I have to make fuel. Sorry, chat. No walls for a little bit longer. I still don't have what I need. Yeah, I know you guys got really excited because you thought we'd finally have walls, but, um... 
that, that's not going to be happening for a couple more years, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Only way we could do that is if we knew how to make helium. Why is my ship driving on its own? Away from my destination? Why didn't anyone tell me? Why? Don't you know we have to go to Caleb? All right, straight ahead. Whoa! Who put this fucking building here? Straight ahead. All right. We're going around the building. <laughs> this is my maximum elevation, Chad. I'm afraid I actually can't go any higher. Dude, get around it! Fucking piece of shit building. Straight ahead. Now turn a little that way. So we thread the needle between these buildings. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get more helium. I also get this weird feeling I'm gonna need another turbine to get up to the next landing spot. Which is not that complicated. If I just collect a bunch of stuff now while I'm driving. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, that building was fine. Nice. Wow, look at this place. Where the hell even are we? Are we getting close? We are. I mean, it might be worth stopping by some of those spots for resources. But I think the red resources aren't even really worth it. We'll stop at the windmill, but that's it. Because we need higher tier resources now. We don't really need any stuff from the red zones. This is going well. What do question marks indicate? Uh, like event zones or like places that are more unique. Uh... I'm kind of deeply interested in going beneath the surface, so I kind of want to bum rush that as fast as possible. But, uh, if I wasn't, like, already mostly away from it now, I would have probably gone. Right now, we are full steam ahead towards the red dot. Which I'm guessing is that building right there. But we're also going to land at that blue marker right ahead of us. That's the current plan. That's just, that's the plan right now. Oh, there's my helium. I thought I ran out of helium for some reason. Okay, I'm actually going to do the smart thing and learn how to make more helium. I think. Oh, wait. I already did. What's helium? Wait, what? I thought I had the... I thought I learned the option to make helium. Or I like saw the option to make helium as like a research option. But now I don't have it. Huh. Well, in that case... Oh, you I learned helium fuel. My lobster chili went bad. Which one was it? Oh, this? Okay, well, I'm gonna just leave that in there as a stack for now, because this is my food cabinet anyways. It can just stay in there. We are gonna stop at that location. Guys, the uh, dust here looks a little bit extra nasty. Yep, <laughs> stuff got really bad after the, uh... 
after it all went bad, I guess you could say. This place is mostly Cheeto dust, actually, here. This is, um, this is a Cheeto dust biome. Um, there's a lot of pollen in the other zones, but there was also a Cheeto factory here, and uh, it, it, this place is all cheese. This is the cheese section. It's spicy though, so it's really bad for you. You do not want to breathe it. Yeah, you do not want to breathe this stuff, chat. Even the moths are kind of like off color now. Everything's wrong. Look at them. Horrid. Terrible. Ooh. Big old balls of cheese floating around. Okay, well, I'm going to then attempt to make the upgraded balloon. Because I actually think I can put that all together. Wait, I need 12 machine parts? We're never upgrading this balloon. <laughs> I lied again. We're never upgrading any part of this game. This ship is going to stay pathetic and weak forever. But I will do this one thing for you. And it's make another storage box again. Yes! That I can do! Everything else will remain pathetic and sad. How much to make p machine parts? Not exactly cheap is the problem. Printing completed. I also need more synthetic. Printing completed. I need more cheese. Yeah, that's it. Honestly, that's my main issue with almost any Raft-like survival game. Like, this is not a Subnautica. This is much more Raft than Subnautica. And I'll tell you what, these Raft-like style ones end up just becoming a more cheese, more macaroni game for the entire fucking playthrough. I mean, it's early access, but it's already very much like a... Get uh, another five fucking st like stacks of the one thing that drifts by every 10 seconds because uh, everything is just increasing like values of that. Like you're always gonna need more cheese and more macaroni and more cheese. More cheese, more cheese, more cheese. Thanks for a thousand bits if you're on Hawk. It ain't easy being cheesy, damn right. More cheese, more macaroni. Are we almost at the spot? Oh yeah, let's pull it in. And then, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to make another turbine to get up there. Chad. It's uh, looking like that might require an extra bit of lift again, but we can actually make two more of those, technically. We don't have the resources right now, but we could make more of them. For now though, oh, uh, let's get this touching down now. We're mainly here for the copper. Copper and helium. I'm actually gonna pull the ship around and just beam all the copper that I see before I park. I'm honestly not even sure if I need to touch down. Considering everything of value is something I have to laser up. Next spot. You got more there. Let's pick all that up too. Loads of copper, though. Very happy to have this much copper. I, I love that, actually. Rip the door up. Get that out of here. Get the moths away from my fucking place. Get them away from me. Get them the fuck away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get out of here. I don't want to go into this fucking station like this. Oh, my God. So, machine parts is just 30 uh, metals each. 
Uh, electric filaments we can also, or elements, sorry, I keep saying filaments. Electric elements we can also make a ton of now. Um, ideally we need to make this. We have the copper now, so I just have to make, I just need a bunch of metal, basically, which means more macaroni. We are in a more macaroni uh, economy right now, Chad, is the problem. Uh, we just need to collect metal. Ew, 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 ew. You horrible creatures. Get away from my ship, god damn it! Did I park oh no there we go. Ew. Ew. Oh. I don't have the hand extractor to get this stuff. Should probably make that. Should probably look into that. This is our last shipment here. The lift we operated on seems to have completely plowed through. We don't even know if our last harvest will be useful to anyone for anything. If you see something here for yourself, take it without question. Okay. Thank you. My helium. I'll be taking that. All of this fuel here is mine. Oh my, my sun melon. I don't have any food now. I'm gonna have to cook more food after this. Is there no ladder down? This feels dumb. Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. Whoa, that's a circuit board. We love that. I'm gonna drop, uh... Dude, honestly... I'm gonna eat this tasty dust lettuce. Shit's good for me anyways. I don't want the picture frame. Why would I need it? Helium fuel. Uh, we will take that. I'm gonna have to take another trip up. Why is this in my- Hang on guys, I just have to place my chest down. Yep, this is the layout of my base. I like this. Hope you stub your toe on it. All right, relax, psycho. Jeez. The fuck did I do to you lately? To deserve such behavior. There, I grabbed the, I grabbed the portrait. Did that make you happy? Window wall! Finally, I can build walls to my ship once I unlock the next tier of walls. I mean, uh, uh, carrying capacity. As long as I don't die from falling to my death. We can finally make windows. Not sure why I want all these lanterns, but they stack. It'll be nice on the interior of my shithole ship. How did I get here? Help. <laughs> Let's go back upstairs. There's nothing else for us here. We're leaving. We got everything we need to finish this whole goddamn ship. Motherboard. I probably want to learn how to make that. Honestly. I don't have crystal energy, I so I can't, uh, or energy crystals, so I can't actually make an extractor. Okay. What I need to do... 
first of all, pull this out. Then, build many. Now, I need to get my four helium out of this and my extra machine parts. Put that away. Grab that. Now we are going to upgrade the balloon. Balloon! Wait, I saw, I saw a spot for it to do it. Balloon! Expand. Whoa! Damn! Is Immunity is decreasing. This Disease ship might become more severe. is huge. Calories level is decreasing. I know. I need to pull the ship off of the, uh... I really just have to pull it off of this. So I can fish for a little... Before we go to the, uh... I guess the Twisted Bramble? I guess I'm going to, like, the Bramble now. I think we're gonna get killed soon, chat. Caution. A storm is coming. Okay, fuck off. It's fine, I wanted to descend anyways while I fish. When do I enter dust level? 220. Okay, so I want to be at like 222. It's time to finally build walls, chat. We are not going to be under the threat of the elements. To yes, we are. Yes, we fucking are. I don't know how to make glass. What? Yeah, right. What? Yeah, we are. Why am I not surprised? Of course I need fucking glass, you doofus. Well, I'm gonna learn how to make, uh, motherboards preemptively, because I know I'm gonna need it. Stop! Research finalized. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Mother of God! The storm! What if I go up? No, I'm not doing that. What are you, crazy? I'm staying down here. Chad, I can't believe that they've gatekept so much of the game behind, um... Like, why, why are why are windows the hardest thing to make in the whole video game? You know? Wait, you're telling me this lantern doesn't turn on? Really? I can't turn this on? It's just a useless piece of shit? It's just for style. Fuck style. I'm throwing this out. I'm throwing the other one in the garbage. We need to fish! <sighs> the storm! The storm, it's getting bad, Chad. It's getting bad. He has no style. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Shut up! Shut up! He caught some kind of bug. Or lettuce. Yep, you're getting eaten. <laughs> yep, you're going right inside the machine to be eaten, little guy. Boil. We're gonna die out here, chat. This is it. Oh, I do have some glass. Chat, good news. We can make one glass window. Get excited, folks. It's finally happening. One window. Done. What do you think? Although, I mean, technically I could just make walls now. Yeah, I mean, now that I have windows, I, I have an idea. Remove that. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put the window on this side right here. Eventually I'll make a second window. But I'm just gonna make normal, old, crusty. Wait, what the fuck's going on on the ground here? Oh, it's damaged. 
It's still safe to stand here. This is fine. Yeah. We're fine, everything's fine. Besides, the storm's gone. It's over. We, we're safe. Catch me another bug. Bottle that. Purify it. While that's happening, uh, can I make a normal old metal wall? We are going to slowly but surely, chat, secure this place. And to help this place feel more like home, here's a painting portrait where a painting would go. Enjoy. Just mouth. See, I just really need to catch a bunch of stuff because I need to burn through some inventory slots. Like, I still have this advanced lure. It's like not really doing anything. What the? <laughs> this place is a goddamn shithole and I hate it. Move that, like, up here, and then move this, like, here. There. Ain't that looking nice. Is the storm picking back up? All of that food has gone bad. Every last bite of it. What do I do with it? How do I dispose of it? Throw it out. Just put it right there. It's floating. Well, I mean, I'd really like an automated insect catcher. Instead of what I've been using. Maybe I should get that done. But first, I think I need to start making my way towards the accursed, uh, you know, tower. The purple tower. We should be able to see it any second now. The storm's pretty much let up. It's time. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get much higher. But I can get close and see if I can park on the lower level. If I can't, we're going to have to find a way up. I'm going to have to make a turbine when I get there. It's going to be fine, though. Whatever's in that thing, it's gonna let us go beneath the dust level. We're gonna find out what really happened to this place. One way or another. Get the fuck away from the ship. Get away from me. Get out of the ship! Get out of the ship! I do not think I'm gonna be able to park unless I can raise my maximum elevation another level. Fuck. Alright, fine. Let me see if I can figure this one out. First things first, I'm gonna have to beam up some metal. I'm gonna have to make another turbine. Machine parts, I'm gonna need fucking four of those. Another two electric filaments and then a ton of metals. Technically I have some metals. We have metals, but we don't have much of anything else. Uh, so I need, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna need to grab my copper. Thankfully, I got a lot of it. So how much of those do I need? Two electric elements. Oh, I don't have any synthetics either. More macaroni. More macaroni. More cheese. More macaroni. Grab some of this now. Or try. Pointlessly. Alright. 
We're gonna need like 60 synthetics to get the job done. Yeah, I think more games, more survival games should take notes out of something like, uh, Urge, honestly, and less out of games like Raft, because I think the weakest part of Raft was this shit. Hands down. The weakest part of Raft was doing this crap. It's really boring waiting for resources to come to you. Yeah, it's like I'd rather go somewhere and get a ton of something on my own terms and be in danger when I do it than have to wait around for things to slowly float to me. And that's why I don't have windows. All right, motherfuckers? That's why it's just open air. Because how else would I have gotten that synthetic piece? How? Explain it to me. Explain how that ends up working out for me. You're dumb. You have no idea how to build a ship properly. Matt the fish again. At least there is stuff coming to me. Dev should add an auto laser. Maybe there already is one. At the very least, this makes five electric elements at a time. So we're not like being horribly owned with grind. I thought it would only make one. It seems like a lot of the stuff in this game does it in packs of five, even though it doesn't say it. Which I am quite happy about. Let's see if it does it for the metal component. Printing completed. Yeah, that gave me five. Okay. Yeah, no, that's good. As it should be. Uh, if it wasn't like that, it would be a miserable amount of grinding. Okay. So, I want to make... One of those, which means I just need to grab, like, one more metal. Nice. Chat, we are so close now. Improvements needed, but the game looks fabulous for early access. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, this is the base version of the game, so it's got a lot of time to, like, have a better direction, for sure, and, like, cut out some of this bullshit. Problem is, I always get stressed out when I play these games now, and they have these raft-type mechanics, because raft never improved its mechanics. It just added a bunch of story shit and completely departed from its mechanics instead of actually confronting them and improving upon any of its base game mechanics. Did that fucking piece of goddamn synthetic meat just smack me? Like, remember, Raft genuinely was just like, okay, guys, forget about the game. Let's go, let me take you away from the game for the rest of it. Which was such a weird choice. Yep, this is, uh, this is how my ship works. Don't ask too many questions. It's fine. Ascend! Am I gonna need another, another? I don't think so. I think we'll be good now. Yep, that's our parking spot. Let's touch down and take a look around. After I make sure I fished, uh, maybe one more meal. Yeah, let's just deposit some stuff. Perfect. Yo, is that a tier three gifted misclick? Fuck yes. We love those. We love those. Thanks. We really do enjoy those. Thanks. Sutempai for that. What do we got? Ew! Oh, it's a big one. 
What did that teach me about photophobia? Why is it telling me about that? Oh, all of these guys can, uh, okay. I guess I never picked that guy up before. I ate him, like, straight off of the fucking hook. All right, well, uh, we will cook it up. And then I'm in a park. Man, imagine if I had invested in the forward thrust of my vehicle at any point. That would have been crazy. Here we are. So did Benji die long before this chat, or where did he end up getting? Before, before he bit it. How far did Benji get in before he died? Before he fell to his death? Nowhere near he Huh. He's trying to outdo his friends. No, I was just curious. I was just wondering. But I will say I love when I like totally own my friends publicly through game progression. That does make me happy. That's one of the many things that I quite enjoy doing. Like I both feel bad for him but also I'm glad that I totally destroyed him. Though to be fair, I did die of starvation before even leaving the tutorial. So who really got owned? I don't think that's a way down. Hello? I'm gonna keep my fucking crossbow out. What are you kidding me? Hello? Is there anyone here? It's a ghost town. I mean, I it, the whole place is. I mean, Earth is fucked. So obviously, it's a ghost town. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why I'm even saying that. I I know there's no one here, because everyone's dead. Hello. This battery needs goddamn power. Which means I need to find a way up there. And this door right here. Also needs power. There's a lot of walking around that we have to do. We gotta power up the whole place. Can I not climb if I have a crow? Oh, there we go. Can we get this guy an inhaler so we can sprint for more than three seconds? I don't understand how anyone can make a video game and not know how annoying it is to like have sprint be like a 10 second thing where your character gets asthma. They better explain it at some point as my guy, like, actually can't breathe the air here at all, and it's miserable, and, like, there's literally, like, no way to function. Our lab stand fell into the smog. The mounts broke off, and all the equipment went to hell. All the tools, including our only virus sample analyzer, people were lost. We need to assemble a team to try to recover the most precious things. There are a few volunteers, because it's impossible to breathe down there. The filters and the masks clog up after a while. Fortunately, we still have a prototype oxygen bottle that lasts longer. We still need the hand extractor to get through the debris. Of course we do. <laughs> of course we need a tool that I don't have yet. Well, I can technically go down there, but, uh... Unless I had a hand extractor, uh, I'm not gonna be able to actually open the way through, I guess. Which means I'm gonna have to craft it. Of course, though, chat. Uh, the hand extractor requires an ingredient I have never seen. It requires crystals. Energy crystals. Why? Uh huh. But it requires a very specific item, you see, to even research. Y'all ever seen an energy crystal? So Tempai misclicked again. Thank you for another... Tier 3 gifted subscription. I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, I guess I'm gonna go down there and at least see if I can check it out. I have, I mean, I have my oxygen bottle. 
I, I should be able to go down there and breathe just fine. Let's fucking sightsee. Maybe there's gonna be something down there I can still do without an extractor. Chat, we're going beneath the dust. Brace yourself. stepped out there one time and my dude hacked up a lung and a bunch of freaking just nasty goo came out is that an energy crystal dude you don't sound so good guys it's okay it's actually really <coughs> easy to breathe down here <coughs> it's actually really good I'm so close. If only I could somehow make those metal walls above disintegrate, but they're way too heavy to lift. I can see there's something behind them. Fucking hell, where are we? There's just there's plants everywhere, chat. Maybe this place this pla that those fucking plants they were researching must have ripped this whole place to shreds. So I can go this way. Gotta watch my oxygen. We're gonna need these energy crystals. There's no doubt I'm gonna need one to actually craft the damn thing. <laughs> I'm fine. Ignore that. I'm fine. It's actually really easy to breathe here. Listen. It's really easy. Why is he coughing? He has an oxygen tank? You're asking a lot of freaking questions. I got to go back. Okay, time to go back, chat. Time to go back. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Maybe we go back up top now and I see what I can do with that fucking thing? What happens if you run out of oxygen? Well, considering I need it to live, I'll probably die. If I had to be honest, I'll probably die if I run out of it. Which is freaking BS, man. This game's so predictable. At least now I have energy crystals, so let's see if I can make the hand extractor, because that would make my life a billion times easier exploring down there. Okay, hand extractor. Crystal battery. Okay, I guess I also probably want one of those. Uh, let me make another... Let me grab a plastic scrap, which of course I'm not going to have what I need to actually make. Um... I'm about to get owned. Here, here we go. Everyone get, get excited. Wait, we have enough. Lucky day, lucky day. Printing completed. Research. Hydration level is decreasing. My hydration is decreasing. I'm also gonna eat this big old moss. Research finalized. And I'm gonna drink that too. So how expensive is an, is an extractor? Tell it to me straight. Not bad. That's actually, in the grand scheme, way better than I thought it would be. It's not great. I'm gonna need to get metals again and synthetics out of this. And I don't have any metals. But, could be like a billion times worse. 
So ultimately, eh. Man, knowing one is I need metal again, which is uh, Printing completed. always just a huge hassle. Because I have to make the transformer. Yeah, I'm gonna need machine parts. Which means I need to get up, take the ship back off of this, position myself so I can collect more metals. And then I'll be able to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Soon. Now I just have to wait for some metal to float by. There's some. There's another. Come into range, please. Come on! No! Alright, I need like 30. God. Okay, we got it. Two more of those. This is embarrassing. I have no say in how this plays out right now. And while it's happening, let's research how to make the crystal battery, because God knows what that's going to require. That's like one more thing. And ground getting kind of spooky scary recently. It's just some plastic scrap. We can just grab that. That's really cheap. We definitely don't have what we need, but we can just grab some. We have everything we need to make the thing. Chat, we are about to make some batteries. I might actually make two of these. Because I think there is a spot to put another one in down there. Is this thing working? Sir? Is this bugged? Printing complete. Oh, okay. It just didn't look like it was it was updating. Printing completed. Okay, we're gonna make two of those. Let's pull the ship back up to the parking spot. Chat, we're going back down into the dust realm. And this time, we ain't coming back until we have solved the mystery of what happened down there. Printing completed. Tomato doesn't know what patience is. No, I was simply confused because it has a visual that wasn't updating the whole time, and this is an early access game. Also, you're lucky I didn't correct you and read it out as ap aptience, uh, because I could have owned you hard, and I didn't. So you're welcome. You should be thanking me. Matter of fact, you should pay me. Uh, just saying. You just did? Yeah, I know, but I didn't do it then at that moment, because that would have been devastating. I think. And I only really did that because, you know, I'm an empath, and I understand I don't want to, like, you know. You know. You all know. You know this. Alright, uh, let's roll. <laughs> don't don't make a low me! <laughs> Wait, this has batteries. All right, we don't want to use this yet. Come on, Chad, it's time. Where's the empath tag? Is it 
Is, I wonder if you're allowed to put toxic and empath in the same tags. There's got to be some kind of rule against that. Chaotic evil empath. Dude, fuck's sake, you gotta breathe better when you show up. Oh, this is an oxygen thing. Wait, can I have the fucking charge back? I fucking wasted this shit here. The entrance to the goddamn lift is right there! They tricked me. Tell you what, I'm gonna need another one of these fucking things at the end of this, and I'm not gonna be able to- Wait, you're telling me this guy got stuck here? Holy shit. Rip Bozo, dude. Actually, Rip Bozo. Damn, man. Oh, and they gave me another battery, too. Let's get to the bottom of this. Uh, I don't need it yet. I don't need that yet. We're gonna push on quickly and efficiently up towards the lab and find the next station to refuel our oxygen at. Unless this is it, at which point I'm doomed. Wait, we're okay. That was also charged already, I think, the one downstairs, which means I could have just used it. Hey, whatever. We keep moving. We keep climbing towards the... Is this outside? Canned water. Yeah, but what's the point of being up here? It says the lab is up here. Do I have to climb out of the window? No, absolutely not. Does it want me to jump down there? I'm not jumping down there. What are you, crazy? I got to do some scanning or something. Ah, I see. I've been not scanning. Dust has changed the world. It's amazing how the new species have evolved so quickly. We should study them. Maybe we can stay here longer. It's in a virus sample to craft a booster. That'd also be useful to look for something for those heat sensitive weeds. Extract viruses from organic materials allows further study on other devices. Okay. So now we're supposed to explore the tunnels now that we have this. So I guess we're going back down. Yeah, I guess we technically this was the lab. The FOV doesn't feel like 90, even though I think I set it to 90. Hang on. Yeah, that is, this is a fucking tight 90. I think it feels worse when you have the scanner out. No, it's definitely not 90, dude. This is like 70. No, I'm not inserting a battery for that. Let's keep going down. I think there's another way we can go. I'm just gonna eat it. The immune system has dealt with viral infection. Did you just try to infect me with a virus? Piece of shit. Dude, imagine being on like the surface of like a nasty planet like this and consciously choosing to pull your gas mask down that's protecting you from suffocation. So you can snack on a weird glowing flower. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be on this side of the thing. This is a safe fall. Yep. Absolutely galaxy brained. Uh, 
I need oxygen. I need air! I need air! Help! 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 Oh. I'm also lost now, which is bad. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? You know I have a fucking crossbow, right? Stop. Stop. <sighs> Fine, what are you anyways? Ice dew. This plant activates its defense mechanism when sensing a temperature close to that of a human body. It does not react to lower temperatures. Well, I'm not going that way anytime soon. Not with that frickin' ice dew in the way. Immunity is decreasing. Dude, fuck off. I just want the crystals. Give me these. Freak. I need water. Recipient water. Bada bing. Am I back to the start? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right, perfect. What is, where's the flower that's actively aiming at me and trying to blast me? Cause someone is pissed. I wanna pop in here quick. Okay, so I can't make... Alright. Dude, I swear, my guy really needs to take a deeper breath before he walks in here if every single time he's gonna immediately walk in and go... <coughs> it just keeps stressing me out. It's every time. Hi. Little flower. So I went this way last time, but last time I was running out of oxygen, so this time I'm gonna do it right without running out of oxygen. I wonder if I can shoot that. Easy. Okay, and that's another shortcut. If I need it. No more space for energy crystals. I guess that's why there's all those boxes at the lift, so you can bring a bunch of stuff out. I don't really have a way to get into the tunnels. I think I gotta go back up top to do some research on that hypothermia plant. I also think it might be worth drinking this water and grabbing one of these. <gasps> Jesus! Was that the fucking Daisy that did that? I was like, dude, I just took your- I just took the thing and went like- <coughs> The flower did that! I think the plant just burped at me or some shit. I'm getting out of here. If I knew where the exit was, that is, but I'm lost now. Again. Oh, there we go. The flower freaking gasped at me. Take me back up. Wow, dude. Downstairs sucks eggs. Let's never go back there again. It's way nicer up here. <laughs> Chad, it's way, way nicer up here in the air. Is there a good amount of content for this being EA? I've only played three hours, so I will never be able to answer that off of a single stream. I literally cannot answer that. You should ask Steam Reviews more precisely. They are probably going to be better signs of that. Virus sample analyzer, go. Nasty moths. Horrible creatures just getting in my goddamn face. Buzzing everywhere. Okay, how do I make this? <laughs> okay, how do I make a motherboard? 
Since we're just gonna keep on adding new bullshit for me to craft, how do I make a motherboard? <laughs> okay, how do I make a- <laughs> Alright, stream's over. Chad, it's been a pleasure, but I have fulfilled my obligations. I'm so hungry, and my back is killing me. I'm in so much pain, and I'm dying. And I haven't eaten enough caterpillar goo to sustain my my DNA, so I have to go find some of those some of those good good some of those good good gushers out in nature. Uh, stat. So I have to go. I'm I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, my back's fucked. I went as hard. I went as long as I could, honestly. But like, I'm reaching the point where if I breathe too hard, my back hurts. <laughs> Can't be in like streamer posture. For more than like four hours before my back is just like stop recline to full power i'll be back tomorrow do another stream i don't know what we're gonna do but we'll do something that's the plan so keep your freaking eyes peeled okay thanks for the gifted subs and donations and bits this game is fun we'll probably revisit it i know they're planning on adding co-op which for this game uh much like raft is fucking necessary. So I hope they do that and I hope they also remove some of the raft bullshit or trim it a little. Cause uh, I wouldn't mind some ways to automatically collect stuff at the very least earlier because uh, as fast as it is to collect things, it is kind of annoying when you have to constantly go, I need one more synthetic material and then wait for it to come to you. But it is fun, it's a good time, it's cool. I love the visuals of it. Should be a good time when it's finished. Thanks for the gifted subs, donations, and bits. Thanks for the uh, accidental, or I guess intentional, cursed hyper chat message. Pray to God that's the last one I ever get. As much as I appreciated the money, do not like hype chat. I do not like it. That is why the money value is so high. All right, chat. See you tomorrow. Thanks for coming by. Have a good night. Laters.